from the legendary artificers of Sol Devi comes a tree that will never wither and die. A tree that will be the source of countless holiday tales. From Mirrodin Incorporated, bring your family their own tree of tales. Celebrate the holidays with a tree made from only the finest elements. Tree of Tales. Our trees are guaranteed for life. Hanging out with the Dawn Heart Witches. Whatever this quote means, right? Man, Mind Stab Thrall here bright and early. I think he was like two hours early to the show. So hello for them. Super fan, Shiraz and Nimchimsky. Um, I'd say probably about six of you have been asking for this list for a few months now. And uh, I had to dust it off and redo it, start from scratch and everything else. So this isn't, I wouldn't call this a tier list. It's it's very slow and prodding, but it can kind of do everything, but I call it RG Tempo. Uh, it used to be based on Shroud Creatures. Then we went to uh, Hexproof and such, and I'm uh, skimming a little bit on that. What we try to do here is uh, have a lot of efficiency in our removal package. We have a ton of draw, courtesy of like, you know, kind of a red deck style. We have two crop rotations because we have one bog hiding, nice little sneaky move, or you can, you know, go grab a turf and replay the bog against things that matter like that. Another one in the side. Um, so we got quite a bit of draw going on here. We have a lot of life gain. We have three brown scales and all four morasses. The way we make our creatures, even a brown scale, pretty impressive is throwing a Moldervine Cloak on it. We have two of those main. Um, I also run three Primal Hunt Beasts. Um, it's just a natural way of having a big body that if you don't have your Moldervine Cloak, it still does quite a bit of damage. And I uh, don't like our stuff getting messed with. And when it does, we pull some Ross at it back. Two Ardent Elements, uh, Elementalists, and three Breath Weapons. I like this right now over the... Uh, um, what, what was it? The, the cannonade. Because Red has that new artifact goblin that is a pirate. And so uh, a lot of times when you really need your breath weapon if effect or pyroclasm effect to work, it doesn't because, you know, your opponent's left with a 2-2 out of the deal. So um, learning that the hard way. So there's the switch there. So that's the main. We've got five and five on this. Two turfs, two wilds, all four cobra. Uh, I always say cobretti because... I always laugh at the horrible Stallone movie called uh, Cobra, and his last name was Cobretti. I thought it was like some of the laziest uh, story writing or anything. It, it's an atrocious movie, but it's so bad it's good. So you'll hear me say Cobretti all the time because I've just said it too much with my son. It's just this funny little thing. So anyway, um, Mind Stab Thrill with the uh, first time watching Propaganda with my cat on my lap, says Nimchimsky. Okay. Um, yeah, Fiery Kennedy, that's the one I was looking for. Anyway, so that's the main list. Um, we got the One Tree Folk. Uh, nice little target. Sometimes you can refill your hand and start pitching these. Anyway, in our sideboard, we have one more bog. We have uh, three Scattershot Archers, one Shaman, three Weather the Storm, three Deglamers, one Shenanigans, one Tranquility, and one Sandstorm. So I predict this is going to be an incredibly long, uh, we'll just join right here, an incredibly long show uh, because this deck is very grindy. So no Nimchimsky matches, <laughs> no matter how wait long I'm waiting for stuff. All right, let's get after it. Open up our yard here. I guess we can keep this. It's a little late, but uh, we'll try to get our uh, <clears throat> our big uh, hexproof beast out early and often, and hey, maybe we can win. <laughs> Kobe Bryant courtyard, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I just uh, that movie was just so bad. Oh, and the uh, uh, Popper Classic Tuesdays has changed, um, courtesy of the Magic Online Society. There should be a link by one of my. Uh, associates in the chat but um for those of you uh, everybody was kind of afraid that it was going to go bye bye for good i guess we'll get a mountain out of the deal and um found out that they stepped up even with uh some prize support a little bit less than uh hardcore people like me are used to but uh hey what do you want for a free tournament right so they really stepped up thank you for that Nimchimsky. so yeah go join that link i'll try to put the uh, remember to put the uh 
um, it in the YouTube video underneath the uh, show more tab underneath where I'm sitting and talking now and hopefully we can oh I like this person's style we'll either die quick or we'll be all set well we like this let's cycle this and then we'll bounce um, I guess we'll grab a forest just try to keep things nice and even bounce the uh, land here that way next turn we can probably breath weapon if we need to see how explosive this is going to be respect any list with a bone saw in it hmm <laughs> They're grindy anyway. <laughs> oh, I guess that's a good point, Mtinsky. The ward. Now, I remember this activating way differently uh, when it was leather armor. Um, they're not going to like our next turn. I just remember that you had to remember to pay ward with leather armor immediately. It didn't give you a reminder text, and, and it cost a lot of misplays on that one equipment episode we played. I don't know if that was just a thing then, and it got updated to be fixed or what, because a lot more stuff with ward became available since I had that show. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> kinky armor, yeah, that'd be a pretty funny one, right? I guess we'll just wipe the board, and then we'll uh, re-stabilize with a primal hunt beast. If you notice, I've got a very... Uh, Except for the elementalists, I uh, like all my stuff to live through uh, breath weapons. So we're set, hiding behind this gruel turf. Looks pretty spooky for a gruel land, doesn't it? It's kind of like a little at dusk, like the vampires are coming out sort of thing. I just remember we had a leather armor build on our creatures and so many times they would bolt it and they had the mon the the money the mana for it and they they weren't able to pull it off good time for breath weapon that's for sure i guess we might want to open up and see what they reveal right a whole lot of nothing because they just played it that's right it only stays there with that one if it's set okay uh, i guess we'll just do it now Boop. crunch uh, the Jade Guardians, it's its an art choice. I know the Jade Guardians, I used to run those because there are times when I would have all four that I could choose to put the counters on them because they count as merfolk. But uh, that happens so rarely that I gave the art the nod instead. So we'll just hide behind our Hunt Beast here. A bit of head scratch from our opponent. It'd be nice if we just walk right in a Molder Bean Cloak because a 6-6 six, six is uh, pretty awesome. You know, this deck all, you know, started with like Blastoderms and stuff and trying to get them back and keep them healthy and stuff. But in the end, uh, it's just it's better to just assemble a, a, a version that just doesn't go away and that you can improve upon. So Bacon Master, good morning at you. Master 665. Woo. All right. Got all kinds of leathery goods showing up here. So let me double check this leather armor. It's been a while. Yep. I have to pay one more. Okay, so our screds are going to be bad incinerates. Well, that's a pain. All these things running around. And this deck goes through its itself very quickly. So, uh, yeah, I like to do this. I'm going to impulse first, then we're going to scred pay for it. See what we get here. Or we could just do that, pay for it. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. <laughs> I'm going to hold off on playing those till next turn. Well, no. I mean, because of the amount of equipment we've seen, let me actually do this here. And we'll say yes. Alrighty. Because Scred will just improve, and uh, it, our breath weapons might not be strong enough in the near future. So even though I like to throw those to the face, we'll go like this instead. I was in Illinois all week, says Bacon Master. Super glad to be back home. Well, where's home? Is it Illinois? I would imagine not, given the uh, statement, right? All right. Here, down comes another synth. Synth su uh, samurai goodie. Mm -hmm. I remember tissues. I got the coffee steam giving me the wet nose. All righty. We're getting zapped. Boink. I have to get that Marasa online here. Oh, probably, if we don't draw land here, hmm. We got another Hunt Beast out of the deal. I'm not too concerned about playing this for um, the value. So I guess we can, um, ah, oh, shoot, we're going to have to do that anyway, huh? We could pull some Rasa back a, let me do, 
let me do that. Let me do from here to here. We'll get back just an Ash Barons so we can pay for the ward. Just keep attacking here and trying to wear out this. Um... Oh, look at that, though. It won't work. Uh, what a bad play that was. I forgot. That's not a snow land. I thought we had just enough to kill it, but we won't. At least I didn't go for it and then screw it up, right? Uh, I guess we attack here. Let's take a trick. It's not a 3-3 three, three yet. That was weird. Oh, well. Wah, wah, wah. My wife went off to visit my boy in Washington. So, uh, I am lonely. My other son's always working, so. Got the house to myself and a lot of magic to play. Good day to play a very grindy, long-winded deck. Darn it. All right, well, shows I haven't played the hell out of this list yet. Oh, I, I turned in, like, all those Popper Classic Tuesdays, and it sounds boastful, but over the years I've, I've played hundreds of those tournaments and won quite a few, and I rarely use the uh, coupons, and so I spent a good part of my day just stacking up all of them and um, doing the thing and and buying their credits back because uh, I don't know what's going on with them. They um, I have paid the one, yeah. They... Uh, they still have their bots, but their but their actual online MTGO traders site is like down, and so that's kind of weird. Well, our ardent elementalist isn't going to live very long, whatever we end up grabbing. So I'm just going to put out another dude of the hexproof persuasion. So anyway, long story short, I've got like a hundred credits with them and stuff, so I was able to make good on that. If the store was still available, I was going to give it up to uh, just random fans of the show and stuff with some of the contests we got coming in. Oh, also, speaking of contests, it's not really one, but um, one of you, I'm so sorry, I forgot. Oh, yeah, this looks a lot like the that list that we were playing. One of you uh, sent me a pretty cool link with some um, good flavor text options, but we're looking for the very short and sweet, funny, doesn't have to be funny, but just very good flavor text if you got one or two that's your favorite. Trying to put together something like that. We caught the top of the show. We've got the new Tree of Tales, a dark steel uh, Christmas tree that will, will never wither and die. The voiceover for that was astounding. One of my friends, Heather, just completely killed it. I was just so blown away by that. Alrighty. Well, we don't have enough ways to kill it yet. But our big old battlefield scrounger could... Could probably uh, walk through that, right? Or I could elementalist into. We just actually we need some more red sources here. Let me elementalist back the uh, Marasa, maybe. Hmm, maybe not. I don't think we're going to be needing our scrounger. Let's see what we do here. Let's draw, discard two cards. Darn it! Well, that's a really good one to discard. I want to. I want to play both of these though. So I'm going to. Man, this is tough. All right, I guess we have to wait on this. And we'll throw this out. We'll, we'll reckless impulse here. Hey, look, it's another Moldavine Cloak. How cool. All right, I'll just throw that on now. Boop. I'll offer a trade here. I mean, we've got the other cloak, so that's pretty brutal. We spent a lot of time tuning things up. We've got another one. It's just going to come back, so I'm, I'm fine with a trade here. Oh, that's a pretty good one, but it doesn't do me good in the chat. Take your best ones and send them to poppergan at gmail.com. Try to keep it to one or two. I hate when <laughs> every once in a while you'll get somebody that has misunderstood what you're asking for, and they end up sending you literally like all flavor text of all time or something. It's like they asked a bot to type it up. I'm just after quantity, not qu or quality, not quantity. I said it wrong. Yeah, I'll probably block here. Oh, man, that has trample, too. We just win next turn, or they win right now. We've already seen a Gal Blast here, so I'm gonna, I think I have to block. Absorb three of this damage here. Holy crap. I want the quality. Yeah, and short and sweet, too, because in a video, I don't want to have to scroll. <laughs> They get going. 
Ah, the premonition was right. We are just alive. Cool, cool. Got to watch out for that champion. Or do they have us here? Uh, they could munitions us twice. Oh, yeah, if they top deck a... Um, oh, that would have been interesting if they did that first. We, we would have been dead. Very close. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't quote that one. I guess that's not how the quotes work, does it? Shoot. Alrighty, we have equipment. Equipment. What would you call this? This is just red. Red equipment. So, in come all the artifact hate. We'll grab a shenanigans. We'll grab a shaman. Don't really have to worry about the bog. The glamour. Sure. Eh, probably a Fanger and Marauder. Just so we can make stuff start really paying off. Don't need to see rotations at all. Not really worried about the graveyard. By not really, I mean I am not. I'm actually going to lose the bog. We're still at 20 lands on the draw. So now we've only got to get rid of three. I really like keeping this around. This is a house mid to late game. Turns into a 6-6 six, six and you start getting back all. If your life's low, you get put Marasas back in here whatever, or start Ren's resolving, and they all pay off. It's never lands. It can get pretty fun pretty fast. Because of that, we probably won't need a tree folk in this matchup. Uh, I don't know if we're going a little too hard in the paint with those. I'll lose um, the lootings. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah. Curve of the deck is so high, I might be playing impulses as well. Let's see. Nope. It's a big old scoopsville. Mulligan that. Double check. Yep. Plus, it's kind of a holiday theme colors, right? Jeez, where's my lands? I took one bog out. We still have a third of our deck is lands. Uh, Mulligan. Okay, we'll keep this. We don't need to see you forever. And bye-bye. We'll do this. Kind of wish that was a mountain for this matchup, but whatever. All right. Hopefully our breath weapon will be in time. Brutal that zero artifacts trigger Swift Spear's ability, right? That's hardcore. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I saw Sidid Raken had some video with Marut. Um, had two of them and was able to use the, the bats that I said would never see play. I was a little wrong about that. I mean, it's not like their mainstays or anything, but... What is that? The uh, and then that, what's it? Bat blade, I think, is what it what they called it. Yeah, it's in it's in moto now. They found a way to fix it. Leather armor. I just got. Speaking of the artwork in this, I just got some campfires with some of my some of these cards. I was like, yeah, I should get four of those. I'm like, whoa! I'm like, they're how much? Popper's starting to get a little pricey. It used to be there was only like three or four cards you needed that were over like five dollars, and now it's there's quite a few. So get them early and often. There, that one set is just phew. Oh, better write down that we won that one. Okay, up. Uh, well, this won't do much of anything. I'll be doing stuff next turn. Turning this. Such sometimes those cards are such liabilities, but unnecessary evil right now. Just play chalice on one. I'm not quite sure what you're referencing. Boy, the Swiss beer is getting big. Massive backside. We don't find Marasa or some way to stay alive here. That scrounger. Once we can get that going online, if we can get our yard filled up, that'll be a interesting. Uh, whoa! What's this? The bane splitter. Oh, is that the bad bone splitter? But with flash. Not bad in this deck. Very cool. Swift spears bringing us to a swift end. Our opponent is hell bent. Woo wee! Ah, right, boy, oh boy. Hmm. Well, it doesn't have trample, does it? 
I guess we just get out our uh, dude and blow up some stuff. Leather armor costs one. And then we block with him. I think that's probably the route to go here. <clears throat> Let's blow this up. Bloop. So it doesn't hurt us even more. And we can't really blow up anything else. So we'd have to pay three. Cancel that. Oh, well. <clears throat> At least we were able to use that floating mana for something. And to keep us alive a little bit longer. Don't think we're going to win this one. Oh, yeah. Chalice of the Void. I sold all my chalice. I did all that. I got really lucky with engineered explosives and chalice. I got all these cards, by the way, from winning popper tournaments and then selling stuff back to get into modern years ago. And I still have a lot of the, like I have every dual land, all the really expensive ones, but it's all courtesy of popper. We're at nine life. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's pretty cool. Able to scorch the blocker. Bam as we take more damage. There's another one, and it gets even bigger. <clears throat> yeah, we need to pay three to blow up the armor because it costs one. Oh yeah, Papa Tim, was that your, your deck that we played years ago? I think you thrashed us with it on the show before and everybody wanted to see it, so we, we did the thing. <clears throat> Sorry for the throat clearing here. We're just dead here. I don't think we can really get out of this. We can almost kill that thing. I mean, if we reckless impulse into like a... I can't even think of it. We'll just see what we get. Hey, there's a pulse. All right. They got us on the run early and off in that one. We'll concede here. We did double mulligan. Let's remember that, shall we? Hmm... I'm going to bring our curb down a little bit. I can find some stuff. Let's go. Ooh. Bum, bum, bum. Thinking of doing a, at the top of the show, I showed you the, uh, the a card for Thalid's Upkeep. Like just a you know general hardware store sort of thing that we used in the abundant growth commercial, or I made up in the abundant growth commercial. But I was thinking like, hmm, I think I can find enough random footage to make it look like some Home Depot ripoff store. Who knows? Yeah, I want to play first. Wow, it's game. <laughs> what is going on with my damn mana here? Tempted to keep this. We can just loot and find stuff, but I'm not gonna. That's got so much removal early, but. Ugh, deck, come on now. All right, this is better. Much better. We'll keep this. Boy, what do you throw back here? I kind of like everything. I uh, feel like we're going to need all of this. I've only got the one shaman. We've got three to the glamour. I want to be able to draw. I guess we get rid of one of these because we've already got one. So they look so much alike. Yeah. Ooh. Boop. All right, we'll do this. I'm just going to get our mana right right now, just in case I click through and screw up this way. I can't do it. And, oh, my God, any uh, American football fans out there, good grief, 49ers look just unstoppable. That Brock Purdy story just keeps getting better and better. All righty. Should we shaman or deglamour? I think we'll shaman the land away here. Ooh. We could pay dividends on both with that, couldn't we? Uh, I'm going to go selfish here. Booyah! Hopefully we maroon them, and we'll bolt them next turn. Or maybe Ren's Resolve, and hopefully we find a land. I don't want that Swift Spear sticking around too long. I'm bumping another, another 50 years. <laughs> yeah, I always want them to score 49 points in an ideal situation. They've gotten close a few times. I'm sure they have historically. But uh, All right. Well, hopefully some uh, firebolt effect is going to hit our shaman and not us. We are at 18. We're not hurting too bad here. Be nice to just top deck a basic here, like a mountain. All right. We don't do that. Fix our lands or kill the thing. I'm going to try to fix. Come on. Oh, come on, list. All right. Well, I've got a scred. I'll bring it over here. 
We're more two cl cards closer. Sucks when you have to exile a uh, brown scale. That is an artifact. The torch showing up. All right. I got a feeling they have some like Apostle's Blessing or something. No? All right. Well, let's, um, I guess we'll use Scred for what it's meant to be. It's blowing up our Shaman. Be nice to just top deck a basic here, then we can deglamor the land. We can always Shaman or get back to Shaman with our Pulsum Rasa there, so. Alrighty. And it just rubs it in our face. Okay, well, I guess we'll just do this while we can. And our deck is really fighting us here. 20 lands. Here's two of them. Well, technically three with Ash Barons in the yard, right? Okay. We'll be getting all our life back. Some fire torch. Whenever this creature attacks, you may sacrifice it, the torch, to deal two damage to any target. That's pretty cool. Quick creature gets 1-1. One, one. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, the Torch Brute. That'd be a good name for it, right? Good grief. Where is my lands at? Where are my lands at? Let's go. Reckless Impulse. Fine. Cobretti shows up. All right, we gain a little bit of life. Obviously grabbing Mountain here. Try to rebuild. I think we'll be able to reset after this turn. Scred Bolt. Hey, Brave Heart Lion 7 in the house. Happy late Thanksgiving to you as well. We we actually had no turkey. My um, son surprised us by buying the turkey, the new place he's working, about a week before Thanksgiving. We had it frozen, obviously, and then uh, we took it out two days. I guess our refrigerator set very cold because it was rock hard the middle of the day on Thanksgiving. So we had spaghetti instead. <laughs> Or the family did. I don't, I'm a big fan of uh, spaghetti squash. Okay. Time to reset, and hopefully they don't top deck much else. This is a big time rebuild turn here. Hopefully they don't have just kill, kill, kill cards. I'm going to um, we'll scred here and shoot the dude. I guess I could deglamor it. Hmm. We'll just do that. We don't draw a land here. I'm going to pull some Rasa back our Cobretti there, and uh, hopefully we can start rebuilding. <laughs> All righty. There's another one. That one has trample naturally, right? Yep. Remember that when that card came out, everybody was trying to, everybody was trying to play it. Well, uh, this is kind of like some weird holding pattern, but if deck's just fighting us, so I'm gonna gain eight life here. Or seven. Say okay, and I guess we go get. Actually, I'm gonna grab a mountain again. Up to 14. We've got another Pulsum Rasa to kind of help us get there. If we can stay alive long enough here. We really need to top deck a basic again so that we can just Elementalist into Scred and take out the guy that's trying to kill us. 8-5! Yeah, now we really need a basic here. I guess we could just trample back. We'd be just alive if they don't really draw much of anything. All right, brown scale. Interesting. One, one for each equipment attached to it. That's quite a bit. Hmm. How frustrating this is here. We can, um, had we got a forest, we could have had the option of getting back ash barons and just deglamoring de something here. Trample's not gonna be much of anything, so we're gonna have Marasa back. Cobretti again. Play it. This time we'll get a forest. 
and hopefully we're alive enough to kind of rebuild the board here. Plop. Here we are. Obviously, if we had Scrid, we would use it. Fingers crossed. Let's see if we can stay alive. Thanks to Possum Rasa. We're, we might be able to. Uh oh. That's another finisher. I'm going to have to. Hopefully, that elementalist draws some of the attack there. Bam. We're going to take one regardless because they're going to makeshift munitions it. Okay. Ha. <sighs> What shall we do? Frustrating, frustrating. I mean, we can, we have to deglamour that, but we have to stay alive versus this. So I guess we'll just do this into, uh oh, careful now. We'll do this into Scred. Clicking very gingerly. We'll shoot this dude down. And one, two, three, four, five. They've got enough to kill us, but they don't have the resources yet. So um, we'll see. I'm probably going to board out a threat with the uh, experimental synth, I would imagine. We're at one, technically. Fun matchup. I'm dead and gone for this matchup. I forgot what that does. I know it's got that weird uh, bounce ability for red, right? We want to be able to have our brown scale in the yard coming back and forth. All right. I really like seeing Cobretti show up here. <laughs> As I, I should have a toothpick in my mouth to really sell the effect. I think we'll get a mountain there. All right. No more delays on this plan. Let's do this. That's right, the dead shock. We have to sacrifice quite a bit of his stuff. I've already shown him two Pulse of here. And we just gained one life, so we're not out of the woods yet. Hey, that worked out pretty good. I was afraid he was going to start sacking a lot of things. Hmm. Let me render resolve here. Good news, a lot of this stuff isn't too huge by itself so do I want to attack I guess so we've seen some haste I've got a bolt in hand so I hate how the exile zone bounces around like that I wish they would fix that attack I'm surprised that elementalist is alive I figured they maybe they have six through it who knows I'm sure they have a reason daddy yo uh, before anything else happens, let's bolt. Let's bolt. One card left. Pow. Yield. One, we want. I gotta keep better bookkeeping over here, man. Woo! Cobra ready! <laughs> I shouldn't have played it yet. I should have played a. Uh, from Renz, but we still have a turn. Let's grab a forest. And now we will, well, hold on. I should do it this way. Let's do this here. Bloop. We'll bring out a hunt beast. Sure. We'll do that. I got a good blocker now. Crunch. I've heard a lot of streamers come in that they like the new blue highlight in the UI for past priority. Hmm. Oh, is that is that what's triggering it as I'm yielding through the turn there? Or at least till I can play again. I never F6. I've lost so many games when I used to have F6 ready at the go there. Alrighty, here comes the bolt target. I love the old school lightning bolts. I hate how the interface, whenever I, I import a list, it's always throws in the crappy newer ones. I'm like, no. I think over the years I've spent probably weeks just changing card art and such. So, all right, I'm gonna start getting things back here. Let's do this. Keep the other one back. I'm gonna play this in hopes that it dies. I might even kill it. Maybe I'll just 
bolt it and start gaining two a life a turn, right? We'll go get some lands here. Guess we'll grab another mountain. We're out of mountains. Got two basics left. Good to always keep those in mind. Attack here. You got about two or three turns here. Stay alive. I've seen gal blasts and stuff, so we're, we are not safe. Okay. I'm really considering a zapping our own brown scale. If they don't play a creature. I might just do that. If, uh, we haven't. There's one gal blast in the yard, so. Do I kill it? I'm gonna kill it. Kill my own dude. Bye bye. Gain some life back. Let's go. Usually I uh, can discard it or do something else with it, but uh, right now I'm just going to start gaining some life. Get ahead of things here. All right, now we'll replay it and we'll attack with it. Nine feels a lot better, more doable. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> Zap even brown skill. <laughs> Zap. Oh, gosh, maybe if it cost two or... That is just so much... I know it replaces itself, but still, that's pretty pricey. Yeah, given my um, week before and then the holiday week, it feels like I've been on a mini vacation here. And week, work weeks have very, been very short. Okay, we'll have a birthday episode next week. Alrighty, I don't see any reason to not do this here now. Bloop. What are we going to get? All this mana, this is just like free turn. Oh boy, this is fun. Which one of these does the nastiest? I believe it's this one. I'll blow this up. Crunch. Scred's making me feel pretty safe. Scred at the ready. Attack. Twenty-three cards left in our yard. Be a good time to have the uh, centaur show up. Start putting back all our marasas and such. All right. Well, good. We won the first one. That's a good sign. Let's jump in and try another. Nice that it was rogue too, right? Woo. Uh-oh. That's right. I have it set to zero. Concede. Create one. Oop. Sometimes I do little test draws and such, so... Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, that was that was a nail biter. We are close to dead a lot of times. We got got to remember against uh, decks that <clears throat> are trying to burn us out to keep in the looting, so that I can get rid of brown scale and don't have to do it so clunky like we just did. We see, I'm implying that you guys were partially at fault. You weren't. Crop rotation in a pinch too. I I had a, a <clears throat> I have come from behind victory last night i co i did a crop rotation for the courtyard to stay alive because gal blast was on the stack and i i won the game with one life i was like oh that was cool <laughs> it is nice to have options against uh tron and stuff beat it beat uh two tron lists that were very graveyard dependent thanks to having bog main it would have been a shutout otherwise <clears throat> Hey, uh, you're in California. Yes, I am. It'd be San, Andre San Andreas' fault. <laughs> Boy, coming up with the the bad dad jokes on an extreme level today. <laughs> All righty. Let's see if there's anything up. Did we, uh, did we have a room up? I don't see. Oh, yeah, there we are. There we are. Why am I up twice? Solitaire. Oh, that's a replay. That's why. Yeah, I think I played this first. I like that um, capybaras are in magic now. <laughs> just that chill face. Brings your blood pressure down just looking at it. Here we go. Got a brezzo. Okay, good hand. Early removal. A little bit of life option here. We'll keep this. Go Brady's in the house. Looks like we're going to need it. 
I really anticipated a very slow show today, but if we keep running on a red decks, it might go a little bit faster than planned. It's another thing like when the whole family's out of town, sometimes I'll play like teachings or something like this that's just slow and prodding. I got nothing else to do, right? All right. Here we go. I like seeing Marasa early. I guess we'll get red. Give me a mountain, please. So, technically, we could go Breddy in a forest scred. It's probably the, the line. And maybe even just play a natural barrens for the uh, pulse to start the life train going here. Wouldn't mind seeing a uh, Faithless Looting here. Get that brown scale in the yard. Alrighty. Yeah, San Andreas, that's actually, I was almost a geology major, some of you might... I don't think I've ever shared that info. I had a really good geology teacher, and I just loved the science behind it and stuff. But I uh, found out that the uh, entire way from um, Sacramento to Lake Tahoe is actually a lot bigger fault line that's way more likely to blow big. Okay. <clears throat> okay, in the life here. Frustrate our opponent to no end. I have been beating red decks like crazy with this list, so although I... You know, sometimes you build Rogue, and it's really good against one or two decks in the meta. It tends to be the case. I mean, we got Brown Scales, Pulse Morasses, four Lifelands. We can usually stay in it. And then in the case of Brown Scale, we can just block with it all day long. They, they're they forced to kill it, and then you know what happens. It starts gaining two life and coming back over and over and over again. Swift Spears do not like Brown Scales. <clears throat> so going to hold out just... Drop the mountain, pass, try to capitalize on breath weapon if they're running a... Uh, well, if they have bushwhacker. Yeah, there it is. Boom. Well, this is going to hurt. Crunch. And there goes half our life total. We have to rebuild very slowly. Sounds like it should be a card. You'd think after all these years it would be. <clears throat> Danger! In case they have a Swiss beer or something, I'm going to wait. Breath weapon going to keep us in it, maybe? Who knows? I've seen some lists even have fire blasts. Is this? I have never seen this mountain before. Hey, I said this mountain. Hmm. Voss. You know, he's really moving up on my list. This. Johannes Voss. I remember saying that name a few times. That's a good looking mountain. I don't remember ever seeing that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. What's, what are they going to show us here? Another synth? Synth for days. Good grief. I'm glad we've got breath weapon. Let's do it now. Staying alive. Well, we're also back at Cobretti here. Reset our life. <clears throat> Drop down a big dude and go from there. Brown scales block these uh, samurais all day long too. So, All right. Well, we've got the natural there, but I need to gain some life here. Let's just do it now. Go thin out our list a little bit more. I've got three lands in hand, so I don't really need them, but we do need the life here. I'll grab another mountain. Play the basic next, or not. There we go. 13 feels a lot better, especially when they're hellbent. <clears throat> About to start seeing some samurai show up. Frustrating part is they have Vigilance, so I can't really smash in no two of them with a Hunt Beast, but the Brown Scale will be a nice blocker. Be nice if we top deck just a uh, draw two, you know, Ren's Resolve or something like that. Oh, one nine. You got a doctor just ate a bunch of garlic, huh? 
I don't think I've seen you in the chat. Welcome. Good to have you with us. <clears throat> Something about having Coke Zero after coffee is uh, adds to the phlegm in my throat. I feel like I have to keep clearing my throat. Apologies. Okay. Let me take four regardless. Interesting line. Five. Yikes. Okay. They just won't let us up for air, will they? That's Red's, Red's resolve. Let's kill that up. And away we go. It's another brown scale. Cool. We'll just do the thing. Bloop. Pretend I have something good in my hand. We'll cycle that Ash Barons and hopefully we're alive. Here, I think we just play the Hunt Beast. That's a really good blocker, too. <clears throat> I really want one of these brown scales to die. Oh, Koldatha with no target. Interesting. So they just have a rebirth in hand. Let's, or do they? Oh my goodness, this guy just. What's that? The Is that the fourth bushwhacker? Two, yeah, it is. Drew four bushwhackers. Are we going to be alive? That's seven. Yep, we'll be alive. That's pretty crazy. Hey, daddy -o. Yeah, it was a fun game. Cool list. All right. We'll try to stay alive here. Thankfully, our brown scale will die. We really need to get this life on board here. We'll cycle here. Grab a forest. And bring back a brown scale. I'm not sure if that will be enough to keep us alive. Ha! <sighs> Play the brown scale. And I th let's just keep thinning out our list here. Bloop. And grab another mountain. All four bushwhacker Shiraz. Two on the board, two in the yard. That is uh, tough. Well, at least we don't have to worry about another one. Sure glad that rebirth didn't work. My goodness, that would have been lights out. All right, more creatures. Where's our breath weapon? Even an ardent elementalist here would be fine. All right, they're going to have the numbers. I sure wish this brown scale was a 2-1 at the moment. I'd like it to keep dying, but dying and trading... I'm going to have another... Uh, oh, he just didn't play it, so it went away. I keep thinking... <coughs> I was like, how can they be hellbent? Where's the where's the token at? <coughs> Excuse me. It's getting scary. Uh, and the tempo for the day right now is very slow. Okay, some sort of removal or draw. Let's Ren's Resolve. Something else. Well, we can play two critters. One, two, three, boop. Two, three, hi -ya, hop. Pull some Marasa, please. Or Breath Weapon. That would be... We're at one life if they go all out here. We're probably just dead to a, any sort of removal. All right. Oh. Come on, breath weapon. That would be a funny reverse. Uh, I know we did Galvanic Blast Breath Mint commercials. Or you could have one, speaking of the vampires in the chat a while ago, where you could have a you know, breath weapon for those dates you don't want to have work out. We shall block, block and block. Go down to one. Sure wish I could uh, do a banding move here and double block, or, or what is that, palace guard, block any number of creatures. You white mages out there, throw a, a benevolent blessing on that and watch Red cry. It's one of the first things I did 
way back. All right. Well, I guess I'll mention this guy more because uh, it helped out. Really want to pulse here. Boy, what's the what's the play? I could grab either of them. I have four blockers. Do I pulse? I, mean, I could breath weapon away everything, and then they top deck remove. I'm just dead. This is a tough one. Not quite sure what I should do. I'm gonna pulse. There's like <clears throat> a lot more. At first, I was like, "Yeah, clear the board," and then what? I just die to a Epicure top deck. I'd rather gain seven life. Come here, Cole Brady. Right back in the hunt. Now I feel a little bit better. And you don't have any mountains left. We should have a forest or two. My math is right. There we are. Bloop. And we will hang back and do absolutely nothing. <laughs> Cobretti keeping us alive. Gotta make sure I don't have any white. Oh, see, we would have died. <laughs> Forgot combustion's even in there, so. Yeah, one life's not a good place to be against mountaintop decks. I think we chose correctly. The implement of combustion. You think it would have a lot more uh, ignition looking elements. It looks almost unburnable. Come on over. Another elementalist? Let's find the other one. Clear the way, right? Okay, well, that's enough of that. I will play this just to get it out of our hair. And um, I think we hold on to this wilds. Uh, if they're going to block, I'd much rather it be with... I'm just going to come over with one dude. That Primal Hunt Beast can be such a thorn to get off the battlefield. A lot of times if I have a Pulse of Maras and I'm in okay shape, a lot of times I'll use it as removal, like in this scenario. You attack, they lose three goblins, you lose your guy, but then, boop, you get it right back, and then the problem's back. It'd suck if uh, Shroud worked in the graveyard, too. You're, like, trying to get back a Blasted Urm with a Pulse of Maras, and it's like, you can't target me, even in death. <laughs> yeah, I had quite a few comments from friends and family that were like, why were you wearing a wig on that stream? <laughs> All right, finally a good card. Well, let's go. Pre-combat. Okay, we'll do it again, folks. Woo! Ah, look at all this good stuff, right? Let's play this returning, I guess, a forest. Now we'll loot. Now I wish I had those back, right? We'll bring these out. Pulse of Marasa. I'm still going to grab... Um, oh, duh. Uh, for some reason, I thought this was this card again. So we don't have any um, any uh, lands left in our in our deck, I don't believe. So, But I'm still going to grab the Cobretti here. Get out of range. And attack. Now we're at 13. I'm feeling pretty good. I'll come over with two. Maybe I should attack with the Elementalist to encourage a block, and then I've got a better target for my Marasa there. Not for Ganda. I think mine's at... Oh, you paid the wig money. Okay. Blonde or Burnett? If you want to go Burnett this week, since everybody saw Blonde last week. I remember somebody said in the comments... Instead of Midnight Gone, it was like more like Midnight Blonde. <laughs> I thought that was really good. Brunette, says Yargo. Yeah, it's out of my reach. I had them over there. I almost forgot to bring them in. It's, gotta be, it's a new part of my setup. I have to have these wigs right, usually within reach. But you would have done it at the start. All right. All right. Well, hey, I got to take a, a break anyway. Uh, I'll be back with hair. Uh, it'll look horrible, but that's never stopped me right after this. Um, and, oh, I've got another new commercial to show you guys. Not commercial, um, just 
bathroom break, I call them, you know, the ones that go about a minute or two so that I can grab coffee and such. So we're up two games. That's pretty cool. I'd be happy with uh, two victories total. I, I thought we'd uh, kind of get run over with a little mid Midland list, but it's, it's living long enough to do stuff. Anyway, so this video is from like I really, I don't know where, it was on some archive of like these from 1994 and it's a it's a new show uh, like they first found magic sort of thing. So anyway, I'll be right back. Sat down with players this afternoon who say the game's appeal is all in the cards. They shuffle like ordinary cards, but if you've never played Magic the Gathering, then the deck is definitely stacked against you. This is seven men in going range. It destroys one land. This card here is uh, Wrath of God. It destroys all creatures in play. You take the card and you put it up in the air, about a foot off the ground. You flip it. Yeah. Any cards that lands on is, is destroyed. So I touched all three of them cards. All three of them cards are destroyed. Did you get all that? Well, don't worry. If I laid all my cards on the table, neither did I. Even so, players say this fantasy game of sorcerers, creatures, and spells is gaining in popularity. They say it's kind of a snappier version of Dungeons & Dragons. The game plays a little bit faster than uh, Dungeons & Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it, in one game of cards, it may take uh, like 5 to 10 minutes to play. There are some games that last as much as a half hour, 45 minutes. The object of magic is winning, which means it's not so different from any other card game. But in this one, you're not going for an inside street or royal flush. You're trying to drive your opponent from a place called Dominia. Now, even if fighting for control of Dominia just isn't in the cards for you, the cards themselves may still be worth a closer look. It's kind of 100, but you're collecting. Don't you collect some tallies on 500. Players collect and trade them just like baseball cards, but some of these are considered too valuable to even lay all of them on the table. In Troy, I'm John Kleekamp, Channel 7 Action News reporter. And we're back with hair. Yeah, let's go. Woo! One land! Ah, why am I so loud? I have my headphones on still. Yeah, I'm mulligan this. Bloop! Okay, we got lands here and ways to get them back, courtesy of our tree folk. He has hair. There he is. <laughs> All right. We'll do this. Uh, what, don't, what don't we want? Uh, boy, you know what? If I get rid of a land here, this is right when we're not going to be able to find one. I'm going to go with the averages, though. We'll throw the wilds back. Say done. Lead off with a mountain and pass the turn. It's tough to find those. So if you ever come across any of those... Please send the link to popaganda at gmail.com. They are hard to find. Alrighty, let's go get our forest right. Bink, bink. Make our scred turn into a shock for the time being. I can't believe these are pretty pricey the last time I looked. I was very surprised. I had them from day one, but uh, glad I did. Last time I saw it, I think, I think they're around five. Oh, boy. One thing I love about these Ren's Resolve style cards, boy, it's like, boy, there's two turns of screw we just avoided. Who do? Man, these, this one's way itchier than the blonde one. Sunlit Marsh. I'm not sure I know that card. Oh, yeah, I know it. Just doesn't look like much of a swamp, does it? Man, I bet that'd be stinky. All right. Let, oh, let the canopy uh, effect go away here. Come on, give me a land, give me a land, give me a land. Remember that land we got rid of? Said my deck's going to punish me for doing this, and it is. Let's go here. Bloop. Gonna lose it anyway. Off we go. And we're screwed. We should have kept that one extra land, so that way we could have turned on Tree Folk. But you figured with a Ren's Resolve and two draw steps, we would have got there. Popper Akbar, good to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, I think there was a, one of those was um, on one of those news feeds because I had one last week too. 
they had a, I think it was Phantom Monster, and it's already hard to see it in real life because it's just kind of like a wall of blob, but then the degradation of the video over the years and then the glare, and it was like, what on earth is that? It's just so pixelated. Hey, all right, I'm not going to complain about this. Let's go get this online. Grab a mountain. I know we're tree folking next turn. No problemo. Not sure if it's worth killing that Dawnbringer. Not sure what our opponent's doing yet. So we'll see. Cash override. This is uh, one of my oldest original ideas. It used to be based on Joral Centaur. Back in when the metagame was a little bit more appropriate for that. I'm going to let this through. It's had a lot of iterations. One of the... Uh, I wouldn't say it's a fan favorite, but it has a loyal following and like I said just got enough emails over the last few months it's been a long time it's, I think it's been like two or three years since I have played it so Boop -a -doo. but that's how it started alrighty let's go get some land here thank you tree folk a well timed tree folk This one always stands a chance because it has so much life gain in it. Kind of that inevitability factor, and it's pretty darn flexible in the in the yard department. We'll fix our lands again. I guess we'll do this. And uh, now that our tree folk's not really worth killing, it might be safe to bring out the hunt beast. Okay, yeah, that's not going to be needed. Unless you have three suffocating fumes and nine mana. I still have yet to... I have, it's not like I'm playing all the time, though, but I have... Um, there's one of the newer cards, Tithing Blade. I've been playing about a league a week, always getting a 4-1 or a 3-2 with my uh, Thopter list, that little white weenie one. Just love it. That hurts us a little bit. We are a little graveyard dependent. Boy, oh boy, where's my breath weapon now, right? Hmm. Keep that crop rotation in tow if they start doing any sort of graveyard shenanigans. The blade's back in their hand, so uh, whatever creature we play will die. Would have been... <laughs> Next turn we'll do some stuff, I promise. I love those little quotes. Okay, that is enough of those. Hmm. I don't want to play a creature because it's just going to get annihilated here. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just clean house on our own here. I'll blow this up just so Breath Weapon has more targets if if we do top top into it here. And do, 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 do. I'll cycle this. Now we've got some targets if we do draw any sort of a. Abilities as far as messing with our graveyard. Okay. Really, really want to see a brown scale show up here. I'll just hard cast it and play the tithing blade dance with it and keep gaining life. And thankfully, that's why we have Scrounger because we can run out of cards quick in this list. There's a lot of draw for a red white. Oh, does it, is it tending to grab the ones that you you were responsible for? That'd be interesting. You can always uh, crop rotation right into a... I guess a fetch would probably be the best call here. Thin out our list a little bit. Especially since we have two. I'll do that. Rotate. That's a whole lot of nothing. We'll get a cobra ready just so it gain the life. And then... Uh, our mana is going to be right where it was. Sheer thinning move here, that's all. Boop. Got a semblance of a graveyard. Alrighty. Well, something's going to die. Hmm. We're all set there. Tithing Blade is in hand. And I don't need any more lands here. Hmm. 
I just let this go? I'm going to play this guy. It's going to get Tithing Bladed. That'll chew up their turn, and then we'll have a Pulse Target next turn. I really should have kept open a green there. That was a mini punt. Hmm. Yeah, if you go Gates, it better have a lot better color option since you're going to be so slowed down anyway, but yep, there's the blade. Make sure to bring in artifact removal, O R, -R Z artifact. Um, he's probably like, why did he do that? <laughs> it's like, don't have a bog right behind that, please. Be it. Tithing Blade's pretty good against this list. I don't really have too much cannon fodder creatures. But now that we've seen that, I'll bring in the Scattershot Archers just so we can uh, stay out of uh, Suffocating Fumes range. And um, they can eat the Tithing Blades and block all these other dudes. Do I bring out my Scrounger? I mean, it'll die. I don't really need to do much else. Yeah, if I should I I think I should just loot here. Let me loot. Throw out any lands we find. We have found a brown scale, that's pretty good. It can just come back though. Let me do that. And I guess we get rid of this dude here. Or the scrounger. Let's loot scrounger. And, uh, hmm. I guess we pull some Marasa back. The, uh, <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. Pull that back. Or the, the dude. Um, how many of those Tithing Blade effects is this guy going to have? Let's bring back the Hunt Beast. Go back up to 20. Bill Chimsky? <laughs> I must have missed something in the chat. Oh, they have some sort of blink effect for the bog I don't know about. This avatar reminds me of my son. He's really into bears. The amph what's that called? Anthropomorphizing? You have to just say that word really fast. Anyway, he's always... When we were in Wyoming, he was trying to spot one. I'm like, those are forest murderers. As cute as we always make them out to be in art and entertainment. All right, I'm going to give this guy to the... Uh, give him 45 seconds here. I might as well assume that they just... Uh, maybe the car hit the power cable for their town. All right, there we go. Or they had to use the restroom. Who knows? Do-do-do. Bon buns. Got to use our emotes, man. Wave at me with the propaganda fist. I think those are available to everybody. I should try and log on as a guest sometime on something else and see see what the it looks like as a user. <laughs> oh no, here comes that lady again. What do we what do we got? This is gonna be a long match, and I'm already two minutes down. I better do this. Boop. Ah, I knew it. Welcome back, Tithing Blade. Oh, or not. They must already have a removal in their hand, eh? Be nice to find a breath weapon here. Normally our hump beast is pretty safe, but not against tithing blades. <laughs> you go, <"Holy!" laughs> oh my goodness. Everything's moving. Yes, Daddy O. It's one of our big challenge uh I should make it even more so I don't have to do it every show. Hopefully it will get old soon. I guess we bring back brown scale. Let's get some options going here. Okay. Here. Nice we can do here. Oops, that's right. I gotta pay two of these, don't I? Bonk. Here we go. 
could have crop rotated there, maybe into a Karoo land, and I, know, I would have had to do a basic. Never mind. Well, we got a blocker. I'm sure there's some removals, but it will tie up their turn a little bit. I'm about to scoop if I see another blade. We just really need some artifact help here, and I'm not doing myself any favor on the clock. <laughs> Oh, okay, so it's quite a few then. I don't know how long it takes to get those. Anybody got a guesstimate? Straight removal, all right. Could keep that coming back, but uh, I guess we'll Elementalist back the uh, Pulse. And then I wanna get my Battlefield Scrounger, start rotating stuff, we're halfway through our list here. Or I could just set up a um, Primal Hunt Beast turn. I need to find some ways of killing these skyfish. Is he bringing back the blade? No. Hmm. The bog. Yeah. I would scoop here, but I don't want him to think it's that important. So I'll wait till we draw so that the emotional effect isn't as brutal as it seems. Oh, I see. All right. Well, people get used to me having hair until everybody's stuff runs out and then maybe we'll have a few months off, right? Okay, well, that's totally useless now. We can bring this dude out to no avail. Let's just scoop here, guys. Already used almost 10 minutes up. And we'll bring in our, our uh, sideboard, obviously. We'll keep in the one. Shenanigans are going to be really good here. And I said archers. I'm bringing these in just to... Um, so that all those edict effects, if I don't find my shenanigans in time, will will actually happen. If I lose a brown scale, I'll lose both crops. Don't really need to be discarding too much. I think I can go down to one loot. Be nice if these guys showed up. My goodness, had enough of them there. Hmm. Angry Marauder might be good too. The glamour. I'm going to want these. If I go down to two Hunt Beasts, I don't want to lose too many creatures here, though. Probably lose a Marasa. This is going to be long. Actually, no, because of, of um, if, it, if it gets bogged away, I want, to, I want to have access to two. I'll get rid of here. Do we go down to one Hunt Beast? Hmm. I'm gonna lose a scred. Let's go. Woo! All right, let's go. Our land is right. Thank you. Keep. So nice to have a turn two Ren's resolve. It's usually what happens, but second you hit go live. We all know everything goes crazy. Oh, I gotta head to bed. All right, man. Yeah, don't. Don't skimp on sleep. That is very important. Good to have you with us, Mindstab. I know you were here like two hours early. I like logged in this morning. I was setting up the show and getting all, all my things prepped. And I looked over and Mindstab had already like commented and was, <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. I can't really talk much in the chat there. Too busy getting things ready. <laughs> I know that was, it's got to be a record. It is neat how you can see people in the chat. Even though I'm not going live, that's that's a trip. All right. Well, this is we have beaten a red equipment list. Courtesy of Daddy O in the chat. Very neat. That was a nail biter. Very close. And then we blew out your typical red goblins list because of all of our pulse and morasses and such. Feeling pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna keep that scred for sky fishers and such. I'll do this next turn. I'm gonna start preserving some life here. And these scatter shots can be relevant if I get two of them out with uh, Glint Hawks and such. It's not why I brought them in though. Just to mop up any Ors Obelisk is gonna have a lot of ways to kill your stuff. So even though brown scales keep coming back, if we keep getting snagged in the air over and over again, it can get a little painful. What is this new devilry? Okay. I think we. Gave them the impression we're a lot more into this than it looks. I'm just going to do this to do it. Keep things easy so we don't start getting nibbled to death. Scred effect. 
Rins Rizal. Let's find some lands, please. Okay. Lands, please. Unbelievable. Well, we're not in any trouble yet. I saw a bit of it, Mindstab, but you had a whole lot of it, so I apologize if I, if I missed it. I know there was some... Um, you had some commercial ideas. Okay, Limbus showing up. Why they're really going heavy after the graveyard, aren't they? We've got an impulse in the up top. I'll do that first. Hopefully we find a land here. Come on, Liz. My goodness, this is almost getting to the conspiracy level. Lands, please. Okay, well, there's one. All right. Don't complain all that much. Oh, my goodness, I'll complain all the time. Breath weapon. Stultifying our opponent's turn for a little bit here. <laughs> Good night, mind stab. Good to have you with us as always, my friend. Get some well, much needed sleep. Talk about a good limited card. I think I brought that up before. Sleep. I think it's two and two blue or three and a blue. Good God. I don't think I've ever lost a draft whenever that was in the draft. I, I would almost first take those ones. It was just such an alpha strike and limited. Hmm. Well, we drew a land. I can't play our dude because of it. Darn it. Hmm. Um, I'm going to get another body out. I can start thrashing here. I'll play the bog. We've got another elementalist in our hand. He's not doing too much there. Make him fear that we got some black creatures, right? Now the tithing effect's not going to really matter too much. Unless they kill our brown scale. I do believe we took one out for sideboarding purposes. Show sideboard. Yep. There it is. All right. Oh, it's too blue. Okay. I know I gave both options, but I think if I had to bet on it, I would have thought it was three and a blue. All right. Down goes Tithing Blade. Do they have another? Hmm. I'd rather get rid of the scatter shot here. All right. We got a good bolt target. There's Tithing Blade. We'll be able to do Elementalist back the um, Reckless. I think, oh, no, nope, never mind. Well, down goes that. At this stage, I'm going to be taking one here. Really like to top deck a land. That's why I'm not going to bring back a Golgari yet. Well, it would be a good option because of uh, the Spell Bomb won't let him draw a card, but. I think I'd rather do this the other way. Cancel. Alrighty. Well, there's an option. Let me resolve first. Let's find a land. Eh? Give me some lands. Alrighty. That's cool. Do I want a Cobretti here? I think I'll play this out. Don't really need to bring this back. I guess we bring this back. What am I doing? I was supposed to kill the skyfish here this turn. Oh well. Oh, what to kill? Let's get rid of this. Not kill, but at least they don't. They can't start ping ponging it over and over again. All right, our lands are good now, so we'll bring back Golgari, or maybe even. Elementalist into the uh, deglamour again, and uh, I don't know. We'll see. Three cards. We'll be going to 17 at least. Here we go. Limbus showing up. Really like to see shenanigans. So, am I a better brunette or a blonde? I know in real life I was had brown hair. When I had it, I could still have it. Quite a bit of gray in it now, though. That's why when you shave it, 
Keeps you looking younger. All right. Let's see what we can get. More options. We'll do this. I want to kill the birdie. And I'll pay for the brown scale like this so I can keep up lightning bolt. Pum brown, they say. Probably wouldn't even recognize my sister. She is just so blonde that it's almost white. She definitely got all the the Swede elements. I'm mostly Swedish in nationality. If if there was a pie chart, but I'm quite a mutt too. A lot of little percentage here, percentage there. Okay, well, at least our elementalist will have one target if this stands. Wow, 13 minutes left. i got to beat him twice. Yeah, I like that Nimchimski. Better win we show. That's what it's all about. Got to really respect the uh, Skyfisher here. Try to keep that bolt for it unless we're in the single digits. It'll be fun to get that right back, though. What is this? Oh, is this like the Paladin? All right. If I get another red source, I can double kill that. That's a good finisher. Well, there's that too. I can just shoot, shoot. Way better than dying quickly. With the mana ratio where we're at now, even Scred's not big enough to take that thing down. Still only a lightning bolt effect at this stage. I am signed up for a double dose of pickleball tomorrow morning. I play for about... Oh, they do have a graveyard mechanic. Okay, pretty hard not to. With... So I'll be playing for about five hours. <laughs> From about 7 a.m. to probably about noon or 1 Courtesy of the Niners playing on Thursday. So now I have no football to watch on Sunday. So I might as well just get exercise all day. Pickleball is the best exercise because you're just pouring sweat and having so much fun. And, then I, you know, when I go to the gym and I get on like an elliptical, I'm like, this is like torture. <laughs> and it's not nearly as good as pickleball is. All right. That bolt still has the Skyfisher's name on it unless we get bogged here. They've got the Troll of Kazadoom. Another one in the yard and one in the hand. Okay. Let's go get a red for sure. We've been needing it. Really keeping uh, keeping us out of the uh, candy jar here with this uh, ability to just kill stuff and keep removing our graveyard over and over again. That blows. Let's get this. Okay. We'll blow up. Well, nope, 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 nope. They've got Omen in hand, so I guess it doesn't matter. Might as well make them use it on their turn, right? Got to go. Good rest of the day. Daddy-o, off you go. Thanks for hanging with us. Now I'll do it. I know he gets it back with Skyfish and Company. I mean, with Omen of the Dead. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> He's made a token so he can trip it right now if he wants to. There goes that idea. Wah, wah, wah. It feels like we can't get this. This just feels like a bad matchup. We're really good against a lot of the meta decks because we can gain so much life. But uh, those those very focused strategies, but decks that can kind of mid range like crazy. Could be in a bit of a bit of a hassle here. I guess we just take this, make him use the removal on it. Not like we can block the cave troll, but maybe wash your hair with ginger. We're gonna be gaining life or removing a bolt here. Yeah, that's what I do too. Oh, one of the dead's one of my favorite black magic cards of all time. I keep meaning to do a series like that, like best white creatures or, you know, best this or something for a little quick.
quick videos. Oh man, be nice for a breath weapon to show up. We have not seen any. And then boss. Opponents at the one minute mark, as far as being with us. All right, something good. Scatter shot, not so good, but yeah, that's a terrible draw. Unless they got a tithing blade in hand. We are in Junkville. I got no yard to pull from. Usually at this stage, when you do top deck badly, you can just find something in your yard to do and fix your draw. But our opponent between the bogs and the spell bomb, we be in trouble. Well, I guess I can do that up there. I'm gonna, I'll get rid of this guy. I'm going to pull some Ross anything back. I'd rather it be that. And he's got another one. Alrighty. Scattershot Archer. Nice way to get around Edict Effects, but it's one thing when they've got four Edict Effects, but uh, the Tithing Blade being an artifact, the Glint Hawk Skyfisher strategy, everybody saw that coming a mile away. Memphis Ran, yeah, that's a, those are good, two damn good options. One of the dead just looks so calm. It's just such a peaceful looking face. We're just slowly dying here. Try to get rid of some stuff. They, you know what? We'll concede. I keep forgetting they have Omen in their hand. This is just a bad matchup. They got us good there. We lose our first one. And I'm going to blow my nose real quick. Don't go anywhere, but I, I won't make you uh, have to listen to it. I'll go to the uh, top of the show graphic here. And we're back. Save you guys from the uh, sonic blast there. Create. Let's go. Alrighty. Yep, yeah, that was brutal. We got quite a few answers, but uh, most of the time they're graveyard dependent, especially like shenanigans there. Maybe if we got off a little bit earlier, we could have we could have been the one picking on their their mana and such, but it wasn't in the cards. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go. All right. Well, we've got lands, and they're all the wrong color. What a weird scenario. Mulligan. Oh, my goodness. Mulligan. Thank you. Keep. I don't need... Well, here's that scenario, right? But we will hit two to get Ren's Resolve here, so I'll throw this back. And probably the elemental is done loot out of the uh, problem here. <laughs> Not a fan of this look. The art itself is pretty good, but just the uh, entire composition is just, just too loud. I respect magic cards too much. Messing with their looks is, is evil. Eh. This is another misplay by me. I should have kept the wilds out. This could easily be a thermocarst, and I have not played against ramp in a while. It has been hiding. The second I play a deck that will lose to ramp is when I will see it, <laughs> especially if I'm streaming. All right, we've got a reprieve so far. Hmm. Hex proof. Okay. That's much better than ramp for us. Well, we do have a tranquility, and we've got the glamours to pick apart things, and we got life gain. So this might be a bit of a tough matchup, depending if they've got you know you know what right behind this reckless impulse. I'm starting to get superstitious. I don't know about anybody else when it comes to uh, Ren's resolve versus reckless impulse, but. Ren's Resolve always seems to get me what I want. Reckless lives up to its name. I just, I I have draws where I'm just like, hmm, that doesn't feel very good. I did play a land this turn, right? Yeah, all right. I just see so many permanents across from us. I, I figured it was further on than two two cards here. <laughs> Black Devotionless. Oh, is it a dreadful man? Well, I'll be online all day today, Memphis Ran, so feel free to hit me up. Griffix Insight, woo! Not played that often, but man, is that a powerful card. Put three enchantment cards from the top six into your hand. 
hey, we're playing Hexproof too. It'd be funny if they cast Journey and we've got Primal Hunt Beast out and they have to nab their own Glade, Glade cover scout. I wish they would give new art to that. Looks a little basic. A planes. Basic. Okay, that's pretty good. Glad that it's hidden. We'll just play this and pass. Keep our breath weapon tricks. Hopefully we get another card out of the deal, right? <laughs> Wreckful resolve, that'd be funny, right? Come on, be a good spell that we can have a double payoff against, right? Whee! It's pretty good. Bloop! Zoop. Do they got a way to save it? Benevolent blessing? Yay! It's a two and a half for one. Be out of cards. Probably got a Silhana drop here. I don't want to see Silhana. Brown scale can block them most of the time. Did this have a good quote on it? He will die honorably in righteous fire. <laughs> Talk about all in. A few options here. I think the safest play is just pull some Marasa back the wilds. Get everything going right. Let's try that. Let's get back our wilds. Play it. And are we going to have to get a green here? Kind of want to have a... Hmm. Nah, I'll just looting it away. Let's grab red. The life gain, always relevant against Hexproof. I've still never tried Hexproof since all that glitters has been out. It's one of those lists of views are very, there's there's just not much design space to some of those lists, you know? So I think when people tune in to see me, they want to see weird creations and different ways of using cards. And the numbers support it. Anytime I play anything that's kind of, you know, meta-centric or popular, it's the views tend to go way down. Got to got to stick with your muse, right? What I'm known for. All right. Do we just start beating up here? Or uh, I think we wait one more turn and do a double resolve here. What do you think? Maybe. Let's loot so we can get rid of the brown scale. And um, hmm. I guess we got to get rid of this. Brown scales coming back. And I'm just going to get our mana right again here. We'll grab wilds, pull for forest, fix everything up. Now we can do stuff. Brought to you by Rogaine Hair Formula. That'd be a funny sponsor. Right when I mention it, then I come back and go, wow, this stuff really works. If hair grew that fast, I probably could use it for fuel or something, right? Uh, do we want that back? Not yet. We'll just draw. Eh, it's going to be a whole lot of nothing. Let's let's just get some beats going here, and then we'll we'll do an impulse draw next turn. I can just crop rotate here. Probably go grab the uh, Karoo land, maybe. 29 life feels like we got a little bit of a buffer zone. I'd like to find another breath weapon pretty quickly. Those Ren's resolves and stuff. I don't want to really double cast them because I want to keep one back so that I can still kind of breath weapon as a res as a response if it's if it's stuck in exile. Of course, opponent will see it a mile away, won't they? Ashburn's a very good target for crop rotation. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna thin out here. Well, I do have a Faithless Looting. Let's get the Turf. We'll bring back Forest. And if we top deck any sort of lands here, probably keep them for the Faithless Lootings. I'll say cancel on the uh, dude coming back. There he is again. All right. Let's Ren's Resolve. 
Let's see if this gives us what we want. That's cool. Well, I guess we'll grab a... We'll do this, do a little deck thin in here. Gain some more life, go up to 30. I believe we've already got that in hand, so we'll do this. I guess we can do this now. We can just pitch these two things. We'll say cancel, cancel, get rid of these two here. All right, now we've got breath weapon technology. I guess I'll reckless impulse again. No reason not to. It's not like it's an instant. Let's do this here. Bloop. And stuff I don't want. Okay. Glad I didn't draw the scred, especially against this matchup. Rogue gain. Oh, that's a good one, Nemchimsky. Just looking over at the chat just now. Very nice. My goodness. It's only an hour and a half into the show. We've only got one more match after this. I really thought I'd be going to about 1 or 2 p.m. and have like this crazy colossal long show, but... Hmm, we will let these go. Cancel. Okay. We'll attack here. <laughs> you can play more if you want. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I am not built for a 24-hour stream. Not at all. We do that. Okay. Guess we grab forest here. Yeah, we'll just get more more guys online here. We'll bring up a elementalist. Go grab breath weapon. Might as well do this here. Friends resolve. Pull some Marasa. Keep us in it. Glad these screds are going. Bye bye forever. Pretty useless in this matchup. Here we have the bouncing exile zone. Hey, there we go. We've already got an abundant growth commercial. What would, what would be another go? Giant growth. What did, it, did I call it? I forget what I called it in the uh, the challenge little thing you hear for buying my my hair. Here we go. <laughs> Giant growth would be rag. All right, we'll cancel that. There, hmm. Do I really, I don't really want to play a basic here. All right, we're feeling good now. We've got him in three turns, and we've got breath weapon at instant speed. So let's attack here. I guess we pull some Marasa back. Um, what? And just to do it. I know we haven't done damage yet. Uh, do I grab... What do I grab? I guess we'll just thin out our deck even more. Bloop! I don't think we have too many more. All right. Should have impulse there. Maybe not. We'll see. Keep the breath weapon alive. So we chew on garlic. Opponent's got two turns. There's that. They know we've got breath weapon in hand. We've got to do the thing and see if they have an answer for it. Maybe they've got, I'm sure they have another creature. We've got to just kind of one for one out of the respect for ethereal there. Mm -hmm. Yield through this turn. I actually accidentally did that the other day. I conceded the game in a league when uh, <laughs> I meant to say, like go to or yield the turn and go to sideboard. I was like, oh my goodness, how did I do that? Alrighty, the glamour's gonna come in. We're gonna bring in tranquility. We really want these to show up early and often. All of our scrays are going bye bye. I guess we bring in a sandstorm. That'd be a pretty fun move, right? Things go crazy. Now eh, we got breath weapon. That's a little overkill. It's surprisingly good against Tron. Oh, interesting. Wow, that wrote a pretty good little uh, commercial there, didn't it? We don't need crop rotation. It's not a winning combination. Music modulation. Shenanigans and Shaman. We did see, we might see some artifact lands and such. If not, I can just block with it, right? I and mean, it's going to be better than a crop rotation in this matchup. 
Let's try this out, boys and girls. Let's do a little uh, superstitious shuffle here. Put the cobradies in uh, advantageous spots and make sure that the shaman sits between brown scales. That way we will always see it when we need to. Said no one ever. Boy, maybe I can uh, save myself a lot of time and, and headaches when I uh, just have chat GTP start writing commercials, right? I don't think it could do it well enough because of all the inside jokes, you know, cards for reference, but never know. I'm telling you, if you ever, if you are into AI, Claude.ai is easily the best one I know from an insider. Oh, we drew what we needed, but we didn't draw any of the lands to get there. It's so tempted to keep this. As we, we have both breath weapon in this. Uh, Mulligan. All right, we'll keep this. I guess we get rid of a bolt. Bloop. Lead off with Cobretti here. Drop the turf. I guess we could go Cobretti, Cobretti, Ash, if we, which might be needed for the breath weapon there. Yeah, it can help you get a start. That's true. But if you are in a AI, if C L A U D E dot AI, it's Claude dot AI. Right now, as of you know, 1125, 2023, it's the the best one you can be using. And I noticed a difference. ChatGTP is like retarded compared to it. All right, let's bring up red. Make them make them scared. Here we go. Yeah, and, and Claude actually, I I had it build a few magic decks at real slow days at work and gets a lot closer than chat GTP does. It's almost respectable. I was like, chat's just always putting in rares or just every other card is like, hey, look at this. You know, I'm always the person saying, don't focus all your removal on one color, but it's pretty hard not to in this shell. So this might become a problem. Let's cycle. Do we cycle bounce? Let me do this here. Sit out. I've got plenty of lands here. Get our lands right. This is when tranquility is going to be very important. Yeah, Claude AI. That's the one. I got an AI friend that I play pickleball with. He has a company or three. In fact, we've got a little magic project on the side that I'm going to be helping him with pretty soon. Like I need another thing to do. Ooh. Speaking of pickleball, I had probably the worst outing this last week straight. I kid you not, I played against, I think he must have been related to Andre the Giant. I didn't ask if he was from France, but he was easily in the mid seven foot range and had a serve that looked like it. And I was like, God, what's that like? The net has to be about as high as somebody's shoelaces to his perspective, you know, played great moved way faster than he should have for that size you always think like oh yeah he's huge but watch how fast i can be and it's like <laughs> it don't work that way well i got to keep the thread of the weapon alive in case they screw up so we'll just do this and if nothing happens we have the option of pulse and rossing back a cobretti courtyard which we tend to play about six of every game thanks to pulse keeps us in it so a deck like this doesn't have a right to exist um, it shouldn't be able to get there or, or, or be winning like it has today. But the reason it does is because of Pulse Marasa. You, you're able to do kind of these selfish things and stay alive. And then you, you're able to put down these really powerful cards. I was tempted to play Avenging Hunter in this. Just, you know, it's, it's not that kind of deck. It just doesn't have it. All right. We'll do this here. I want to take the. I would, I'd really like to save pulse for our uh, elementalist, so I'll use this now. Get rid of one damage at least. It will be. We get a tranquility. This is, you know, it's frustrating when they when the person's um, disciplined enough to play planes because then you can't really do a complete color shutout at this stage. But pulse of Marasa will make. That disciple go away. Need a little inclusion there. A religious order for religious order. <laughs> That's a pretty good quote. 
That is pretty good. Oh, I should have done the other thing. Darn it. Hmm. We need some we need some options. I really misplayed there. Should have should have kept that back up. Alright, that's not really an option I want. Um to pull some roster things back. We will need that to go regardless. Uh, that is a huge creature. I can make it a 6-6, six, six, so I do want to play this. Let's get rid of um, this and this, I guess. And then I'll pull some Rasa back. We do this. We'll get back. Um, I guess we could get back turf, but I'd, I'd rather just keep really cherishing our life totals here. Let me get this back, and then uh, oh shoot! No, that was a that was a misplay. Really wanted to play that scrounger next turn. I guess we could top deck a land there, but uh, if I can activate it once and at least block there, if they if it stays at a six five, not likely. Here comes mask. Yeah, we're dead meat. I've got two turns. I love the old looking cards, even when the art's not that good. Just superior. So another reason I don't like what was that enchantment we saw? I think it was Utopia Sprawl with all that different art. I mean, even this is just it's just too new. It's like I think everybody has that nostalgia for the old looking ways, right? They should come out with a set that's just based on that. Everything's just old to to purposely be old. Well, we can loot here. Let me give it a target. Bring this up. We really have to loot because we've got to find. We didn't find it. Good seed. There's a win. There's an L. Let's sideboard. De glamour, where were you? De glamour, de glamour. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we can just keep it here. That would have been funny and relevant, but I would have been able to uh, kill that thing. Protected from red? Try this big green thing on for size. Yeah, a cloak on a hunt beast might be good. Kill that thing. Daddy O's back. All right. Hmm. I used to run four to Glamers in this list about 30 hours ago. I was like, you know what? I should really have one shenanigans with this style so that I can keep doing it with this recursion theme that we've got going and the scrounger and the, the brown scales. Woo! Coming up on the two-hour mark here. Not bad at all. <laughs> all right. They saw the bog... I believe in game one, so maybe they're a little afraid of like an edict effect. Who knows? They sure are taking their time. Didn't see too many artifacts. I think this is just the, uh, what do you call that? All enchantment build, but you never know. Shaman might be relevant if we see a ancient den drop or something like that. Otherwise, we'll just Block with it. Come on, opponent. Let's go. You know what I wish they would really bring back? Um, it was such an elegant design. was like forest walk and mountain walk, plains walk. I mean, they're plains walkers, so it's right there. I don't know why. I think there was an article about it, but I long since lost the link. I remember, I think it was Mark Rosewater talking about why they lost that, and I was just like, that makes no sense. It was such an elegant mechanic. I mean, it's a lot easier to describe that than it is, like, first strike, even. Bands with others, yeah. I just, it, I don't know. You know, me and Evasion, I just think every color should, it, those little nemesis colors, our opponents are protected from red creature, just got me thinking along those lines. I remember, I think it was Mountain Yeti. It was like a 3-3 three, three red, 2-2 two and two red for like a 3-3 mountain walk in red. I was like, whoa, that's a trip. <laughs> Sorry for our opponent's uh, 
obliviousness here. Hopefully they didn't think that was the end of the game. We shall see now. Hey, thank you for that, Nimchimsky. Yes, great timing. Again, if you didn't see the top of the show, the Magic Online Society, the link is right there. Go follow them on Discord if you want to enter free tournaments. Popper Classic Tuesday is still a thing. It's just got a different sponsor now. I'm going to keep this. we got an impulse here. Our man is very flooded, but hopefully we don't impulse into uh, more land. But if I do find a, any of our kill cards with Breath Weapon and especially Tranquility, we'll definitely be able to cast it on turn three with this hand. So thin it out with the wilds, and hopefully we don't see a land for about five turns. Alrighty, let's do this. Go grab Mountain. Let's go, Brett. He's got me so programmed now. I, I just do it right away unless I'm going up against land destruction or chittering rats. This is itchy. Ah. I almost guarantee it'll be way over a year before we revisit this one again, but it's a nice different way to play the gruel colors. Double check. Let's go. We did dr draw another land. Don't show me lands. Reckless impulse. It's lands and shenanigans. Okay. Guess I just I'm gonna leave that turf right where it's at. I don't want to lose the tempo. We are a tempo deck in in name only with all these iterations. There's a sprawl, but we're two cards closer to tranquility if we find it. <laughs> yeah, it's you'd have to be pretty dense to see the uh, shenanigans reveal and then drop an artifact right now. <laughs> Seen things like that happen though. Ah, stuff's getting in my eyes. It feels like they only have one creature and they're really afraid of breath weapons. So I do believe I'm going to just keep three up instead of playing the brown scale. Oh, is this the little dude again? Yep. There they go. Okay, I don't need to do the breath weapon now. I'll just play the brown scale. That'd be cool. You look at this and it's like artifact. It's like, oh, but, but it's protected from red. Darn it. Yeah, let's just get a blocker out. So we got some option here. Might be quicker if we keep cycling through brown scale, turn up uh, tranquility in the yard. We at least have a way to get it back because of ardent elementalist. That'd be so cruel. You bring back Olgari and both element elementalists are on top of each other and they end up in the yard. Be like, Ugh! I mean, still have Pulse Marasa. I guess I designed this thing pretty robust. Lands are right. Is this something massive? It is. Don't have trample. And they have lifelink. That's half our life. I believe that's worthy of a block. You never know when trample's going to show up and we won't have the option. So this, to me, seems like they're gaining life, so are we. Meaning we're not taking nine. Might give us... A bit more of a turn there. I guess Bog could be relevant if we uh, crop rotated in response to a Rancor. <laughs> That's very improbable. Okay. This is getting out of control quick. Cancel that. I need options. That's a pretty good, pretty good draw. Let's find Tranquility. Quickly. Rens resolve, Rens resolve. All right, we'll do it again. Bloop, bloop, bloop. We better find it with the, the way we're running here. Look at all this. My goodness. I have played a land, right? All right. We got a hit. We've got a hit. Don't be another mask or some massive painful spell. Nine. All right. Pulse of Maras would even be good here. I know. Holy card draw, Batman. That's, this is nuts. Cancel. Come on now. Is, is the one mana going to be... Can we play until the end of this turn? 
Let's do this here. Bloop. The glamour, that's pretty good. It'll keep us alive. But for how long? Dun dun dun. I guess we get rid of mask. All right. We can breathe a little bit. I guess we play the turf. Do I get this end of this turn, darn it? Let's play the land here. Can be played until the end of this turn. All right, well, we'll get one looting out of the deal. And so, well, do I want a crater? I do. We'll get one of them. Good. Uh, discard two cards. I don't need you. I uh, probably don't need you. That one life might actually be a difference there. Okay. Can I play it? Nope, I can't. Bye-bye, everybody. I've got a little reprieve churning through our list. The glamour wasn't the best draw, but hey, it's going to keep us alive. Uh-oh, we're almost dead again. Just like that. <laughs> Please do cup on it. For the screen grab effect, I guess. Boop. <laughs> I don't know if I was even in frame for there. All right, looks like we don't have many turns left. We almost have to hit um, Tranquility here. Tranquility, come on. The Elementalist shows up. But I can't block with it. Huh. Hmm, do, do, do. We could go get the glamour again. I guess we do that. One enchantment, and we're just dead here. We can't block with this dude, but we can at least get if the top deck just nothing here. Ah, can we play it? <laughs> Are we dead? Probably. Just about any card that isn't a land kills us here. We lose. Well done, opponent. Tranquility wasn't in the cards. Oh, maybe if I played my brown scale there, could have at least blocked. Let's see how far away it was. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Womp, womp, womp. Too far. Too far indeed. Alrighty. I'm going to go use the restroom real quick, and we'll go to a fan favorite here. Talk about an earworm. Check this one out. Screw plug, screw plug, pull the kid too. I've got a magic puzzle for you. Screw plug, screw plug, what should you keep? Choose incorrectly, you will soon weep. What do you get when you keep seven? Lands a perfect curve from an opponent's hand for pull against and we'll see what you get. Three basic lands and a gun blood pet. Screw blood, screw blood, what should you do? Bad luck is always opposing you. Screw blood, screw blood, where the long face to add your spells to all her free trees. out. I guess we get forest here. An odd chance that we will need crop rotation. Everybody will be humming that for the rest of the day. Apologies. That movie is coming out very soon. I think it might be out. I think it's just called Wonka. 
looks pretty good. I'm still mad at Dune. The first one was, well, the original was horrible, but the, but the latest one that came out like two years ago was really, really good. And they kept saying like, I think it was like two weeks ago was the first day it was supposed to be out and they keep delaying it. Thought I was going crazy, but then I saw an article on it. All right. Last build's going to be something black. Hopefully our brown scales show up to eat the edicts. But if it's of the artifact persuasion, we saw that we didn't do too well against that. I'll cycle the barons twice. We'll go get a mountain, then I'll wait to zap something, and then we'll do it again. EOT. I actually, I just saw... I was guilty of just skimming the headline. I saw that there was an article about it, but I didn't I didn't look into it. A bit of a red herring there, apologies. All right. If if there's a chittering rats here, I'm gonna be mad that I wait or did this when I did it, but I'm gonna bring this forest out just in case we top deck a brown scale. It's really good against a, a mono black list, if that's what this is, but uh, who knows, we'll see. Okay, that's really good. We can always crop rotate beginning a turn two to shuffle away, so I'm not too worried about a chittering rats here. The format has moved past it, hasn't it? Bring out the mountain, pass the turn. Time to zap stuff, or at least their face. Boop, boop. I might crop rotate here. Given it's black, though, I might really need to find that bog eventually. I have a lot of virtual card draw on this list outside of a lot of card draw, so I've been able to kind of find what we need usually. Oh, yeah, one well, there. Two tranquilities would probably be better. I did have that from, oh my god, this, these guys. I'm going to keep this because we might see a big old cave troll show up. So for right now, we'll say okay on this. I'll throw. Um, Oh, what don't I want to see? Am I gonna rotate it at the in, at the beginning? I think I will. So I'm gonna get a land anyway. So I'll throw this out. We'll bolt the dude. I'll probably get a Karoo land. I'll do this now. Blop. Alrighty. I've got a little, we'll just do this here. I considered doing the other, but I I don't mind uh, being marooned for a turn here. We'll grab here, returning this. Here we go. Lands are good. I know they, I've, I heard rumor, not obviously I didn't read the article, but I did hear rumor that that was a front, like, there was a true reason for the delay, and they, they used that as an excuse, like, oh, wait, no, we could just blame it on this, but I forget what, what that was, though. And a thorn shows up. Okay. Hmm. I guess we bolt that. I'd rather save the bolt for the face. All righty. Let me well, impulse now. Scred here worked out pretty good. Can we play this? We already played a land eight. All right. Oh, we got one next turn. Where are my creatures? I 
Wow, what a look at our graveyard and our hand. We just all of our creatures are like having a party together somewhere in our list. Towards the bottom. Oh. Surprisingly, they don't know how much that's going that kind of hurts us. Alrighty. That blows. Hmm. I guess we throw this will only get bigger, better later. I'll do that. Get us chittering again with an unearth here. Who knows? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I see we kill it. Rotate this out. Eh, get a cool pretty maybe. Get an instant graveyard out of the deal. Quicker way to find creatures, maybe? Who knows? Note to self, not many forests left. All quiet on the chat front. People tuning in, they're like, this isn't propaganda, where'd that hair come from? I like that. Play this now. Be nice if we had a creature. I really like to see some brown scales show up. Those are really good against traditional mono blacklists. They're just gonna out draw us here because they've they've had the uh blessing of the city or whatever the hell it's called. I guess I could look at it. The monarch. Bonk. At the beginning, your end step. Remember when it, my son still has the typo version one? For about 10 years, I've never gone out on Black Friday, and I actually broke that rule the other day on Black Friday. Went out and got, Aaron needed some, uh, there's this pizza he really likes from Italy that we always get at Trader Joe's, and he was out. So he's been working so hard, I was like, eh, I want to hook him up. Breath weapon could be catastrophic. Come on, I almost want to see an unearth here so I can two for one of them at least, but they must just have an avalanche of removal in their hand by now. Probably like two or three cast downs, one or two edicts. That was Black Friday an American thing? I did not know that. All right, well, that's something. Let's find a creature, shall we? There's a good creature, unless they have an edict. I'm going to play it. Let's make them have it. Maybe they're just on cast down and they don't give it too much attention. Who knows? But we've got a blocker now. Careful with that breath weapon. It does hit our guys. So a lot of times if you attack and you have damage on them and then you end up breath weaponing away your own dude. But... Yep. Yeah. Bad for us. And they've got enough to do it again and again. So we'll pulse that back. Hopefully we can find a... Um, Brown scale here to shore up our yard. Dusk Legion Zealot. This deck can be good against black if you get the brown scales, but if you don't, then it, it's, it can be very painful. Mono Black Friday, that would have been a good, I should have had a surprise stream, right? Played some land destruction black deck. Hmm. Cyber Affinity Monday. That's right. What 
does our deck do at this point? Good grief. I'm going to try to stay alive. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to go grab this here. I'll leave that looting alone. I want everything in my hand. I could at least breath weapon here, but gosh. <laughs> Maybe we just stay alive so long that we just make them draw their whole deck out. I've done that with Monarch before. That's always a fun little line. <laughs> Penguin Wrangler. Yeah, I tend to not be too on theme with a lot of that stuff. All right, I'll put this back. Two options on the board. Cool, cool. Well, one of their creatures is going to live. Splat. Very traditional mono black list. I guess we can re replay our, our big beast because if they have... Um, I don't know. Problem being... If they tap all out, then we kind of know they're short on removal, but I really doubt it. They're halfway through their list here. Oh, okay, that was weird. All right, I'm going to give you guys one more. Mono Black's bad enough, and then they go and quit on you, right? Let's try one more. Boop. <laughs> one of my least favorite cards. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of innovative new Black lists showing up here. Let's go over here while we're waiting. Yeah, a lot of ways to get stuff back via the element elementalists in the in the pulse here. Boy, this has really been hiding from us, hasn't it? Moldering Cloak, where are you? I think we saw it game one. I think we had a six six hexproof dude, and that's how we won that match. But uh, not since it's been hiding. <laughs> Quite the colorful board. Some of these bits of artwork. Sometimes when they're when they're small and they're next to each other, you can mistake them for one or another. Any thoughts on building a mono black cat food deck? Yeah, no, I've I've definitely had some thoughts. I um, it's not really my play style. I've have I've run into a few, and boy, if you're playing the wrong style of list, it can it can really feel uh, overwhelming. For sure. My little thofter list is the one I've been just winning so much with. Yes. All right. This is good. Boop. Keep. All right. Courtyard one. Ren's Resolve. This is a really nice curve out. Boy, if you could program an opening hand, I would. I would want it to be this one. This is really... Really good. Our opponent is thinking a very long time if they like their opening hand here. I guess they do, as do we. Forest time. Go ready. At work, we have to change our passwords all the time. It's so maddening because it's like, who's going to break in and know how to edit something? I know that's not what they would break in for. But anyway, I've been trying to use passwords that are very hard to spell words <laughs> so that I use it as a learning tool and I can actually remember how to spell something. Okay, this is going to be a very, uh, lots of card drawing going on. Opponent's like, what the F is this? When the enters Bavar dies, creating one one. Yeah, it's not bad. That's a lot of mana for that first one though. Of course, you know, the Golgari Brown scale kind of keeps doing that. It's like a pretty thick body, especially with the uh cloak on top of it. It's just I haven't seen it. <laughs> Could have been hiding from us. I've seen it in a few games, but here we go. Maybe should have played the mountain there if I wanted to crop rotate, but I'm not too crazy about having to do that. Play the mountain here. 
Now our opponent's really like, what is this? Don't like seeing our battlefield scrounger go bye-bye. Rarely does that show up, but uh, maybe we'll need it this game. Who knows? It's doing about as well as I thought. It'd be about a 50% win average deck, you know, just the life gain keeps you in stuff you have no right to be in. Start tinkering with stuff like this before you know it, you know, you might find like the next weird little combo or strange little synergy and then all of a sudden you've got a new tier one option, right? Okay, I do believe this is a multiverse set of turns. Land, no. Well, we can find it. We could just court, I mean, um, pulse here to guarantee that we hit that. Let's try that. We'll gain a lot of life since we've got a free turn here. They give you adjust the size of the exiled window. You can print them from flickering in a size like that. I've tried, I have, yeah, if I make it just ginormous, but then it's kind of a bit of a headache, right? Okay, I'll go grab forest. It's one way to not miss a land drop. Bye bye, baby. And they still blink all over the place and then jump around. Hair keeps getting in my eyes. What is this stuff? Ooh, this is spicy. Boy, are we really going to like Breath Weapon here? A lot of Thopters headed our way. There's that. I think I want to get this out right now. I doubt that they have much way of dealing with this. We'll go grab a red. And then we'll have some options. I might be able to make them bite on the uh, bluff of a bolt, depending. And then uh, smack them with breath weapon. Try to get a little bit more out of it than that. It's probably going to be a pretty big turn from our opponent. Four or greater. Yeah, I considered a Felden's Cane effect there, I mean, if it ran, but it's a, it's a hell of a creature. It turns into a 6-6, six, six, and then, like I said, you can really start getting some crazy turns here going. All right. Well, we'll Breath Weapon early, I guess. I lied. I think Ren's Resolve Breath Weapon's probably a pretty good pull here. Let's do Breath Weapon here. And we all resolve. Any lands? No. Okay, I'll we'll just play this then. Get a little colorless source. Attack! Ardent Elements, probably at this stage, best to get back Ren's Resolve. Draw some more cards. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's a good card. Very late. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. We top deck a land. This will be a fun turn. We've got stuff here. I'll kill the little birdie. Well, first of all, I should do this. Because maybe I'll find a, a natural draw for it, right? I've got one elementalist there. Hmm. I guess we let the bird live and we'll play a we'll play this. Let's just play a land though. Might as well gain some life, right? We'll grab another mountain. One left, note to self, one, two, three, four. Happy to trade for these little token dudes. We'll take three, I mean, sometimes I can get a little reckless when it comes to that um, tempo of staying alive. Breath weapon be pretty darn good again. 
Yeah, let's find Breath Weapon. We're going to kill our own Elementalist, but we'll probably kill it this turn anyway if they, if they attack. Okay. I've never had an Augury Raven played against me. That's interesting. They have a similar strategy, you know, like these live through two damage and under spells, right? All right, Memphis Ram, thanks for hanging out with us, man. We'll see you next week. I'll be a, it'll be my birthday next week. Almost the big 5-0. I think I'm turning 49. Of course, the hair wouldn't show. Wouldn't show that, would it? Is this another raven? If it is, we might bolt, bolt, thanks to the uh, elementalist here. This is great. I love I like that thing being dead because then I just pull some raw set back. So. Primal Hunt Beast, you know they're sitting on like some lightning bolts or such. Cool, cool. What was that? Dwarven reinforcements. Huh. Person likes to foretell. Ugh. Maybe they were uh, raised by a like a gypsy in the circus or something, living in a trailer reading people's palms, right? Why does it have to be a trailer? Hmm. Thin the deck or do other stuff? Uh, I think we do other stuff. Uh, breath weapon here. Let's clear the board. Bolt the bird. Bolt the bird. Bloop. And elementalist back. Pull some Marasa, probably. It's like a very long-winded wannabe uh, ephemerate move here. <laughs> so go ahead and kill it. We'll just keep getting this dude back and gaining six life. Attack! The neighbors of mine just came in to fetch the cat that's been on my lap for two and a half hours. It's very good cats are the size they are. If those things were, you know, the size of like an apartment building or like, you know, dinosaur size, they would just be the nastiest things on the planet because cats are so violently playful. They like to just toy with things that are dying and... Um, it's very good they're the size they are. Okay. really want to find our, our cloak here. When this enters the battlefield. Discover three. Enchanted creature gets plus one, one on and has trample. All right. It still dies to the elementalist. Good times. Quite the colorful blue brew. There's that sculptor again. All right. Really want our elementalist to die now. We'll go get another breath weapon via Marasa. Come on over. In fact, I might just attack with it. Elemental is one of those cards, unless the person knows what you're up to, they don't think you're going to block with it, right? So we'll just wait for the turn. We'll bring this out. Play this. They know what's in our hand, so. Oh, I could just Elementalist now, right? Or Hexproof it, right? Yeah, that's oh, going to attack. Cool. There's a dead one. Haven't seen any counter magic yet, but I don't want to invite it. I'll just bring this back. I'll grab Elementalist again. Could have grabbed Breath Weapon there and attacked. That might have been a smarter move, but I was in my damage steps, so never mind. <laughs> oh, never. Don't worry about it, Shiraz. Yeah, it's kind of a longer show. This is the last round anyway. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. Please do the like, subscribe. Or if you're really hardcore, check out our Buy Me a Coffee link and uh, you can help support the show that way. I'd appreciate it. Of course, the Prime subs do that well, too. We've got quite a few loyal people out there. Gosh, I think Popper Tim, when do you have, the last time I looked, it was something like 27 months or something. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> I thank you. Because I sure don't get money from YouTube. I have too much uh, real music that I play, so I can't really monetize much. 
We'll block here. Or do we want to? I don't think we block here. We're just gonna we're just gonna take this. Oh, thank you, Nintemski. It's probably the longest lull we've had in, in coffee purchases. Not to sound needy, it's just I was noticing the other day, I was like, wow, it's been a while. Gotta start running that promo more. Alrighty. Time for Elementalist to bring back the fire. Boink. Do they have a counter this time? Or do I just keep morassing, morassing alive stuff? Who knows? We'll grab breath weapon. I guess we do it now. They lose three, we lose one, but we get to hit for five. Just in case they've got some sort of shenanigans, which we already see deep analysis in the yard, so might as well force them to use it now, because we can do it next turn. Let's attack. It's funny, all week long I kept cutting my number of Faithless Lootings, and in-game just today is, I feel like, oh man, maybe I should have one more of those. But I did for a while have Thrill of, thrill of Possibility. Okay. <laughs> Not sure if they got the memo. I like my stuff to die, but I think they were running into a thing where they have removal that they just can't use because of the uh, hunt beast. Not sure if that's worthy of getting getting back. Although we might uncover um, our uh, Moldervine cloak if we do dredge it. it, might be worth it. We definitely don't need the life. The creature might be good though. Don't lose faith. Two cards in hand. They really like their spinners, don't they? Okay, they remembered. There goes my attack idea, but maybe I'll bring back the Kogar to just finish them off. Hmm. hmm. Be a good on Earth target that spinner. All right. Do we brown scale or don't we? A lot of cards are good here. We only have um. Two basics left. We've really done some thinning with all those Cobretis. Something tells me not to. I'm not gonna cancel. Don't be a land. Alrighty, that's pretty good. Elementalist. Do I just kill stuff again? I think I'm just gonna breath weapon again. It's a really clunky place sequence. I could just go grab Marasa here. That's probably better. Now we'll go grab the other dude. Okay. Marasa to the other elementalist. And we're at 41. An ardent pulse combo. That might get some views. Like tired of doing it, or have you ever wanted to do it worse than ephemerate? Well, try this color combination. You do gain six life out of the deal. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna attack. He wants to double block here and get rid of it. We know what I'm gonna do next. We haven't seen any counter magic, so I'm feeling a little. He's got to. He's got to lose two we'll elementalist back. Pull some Rasa. Get our. Hexproof dude back, and the problem is back. Oh, okay. Didn't expect that play. It's almost like a Archaeo Master Flicker combo. Only worse. That's not worse if you're going up against red mages. Then it almost feels like, yes! Available at Maras's Market. Always been a sucker for alliteration. Deep analysis doing some work. All right. We see more goblin shenanigans or they tap out. Tempted to breath weapon. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the clock advice. You're right. This is some sort of strange. We're within a minute of each other. All right. Boop. Let me do our rogue. I'll just write you are rogue. Cool. I 
Got the Marasa train here. They don't mess with our graveyard. We'll just keep bringing back Ardent Elementalist, gaining six life. Well, if you're not going to block, why don't you attack? Hmm. Cancel. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Elementalist for Marasa for Elementalist. Save that if we find our, uh, you know what, elementalist. Sure, I'll just get back Marasa again. Pulse Marasa. No counter spells, not yet. I think they're into the the building of a thing, right? Keep keep offering up this trade up. I get spot removal, I'll turn that thing off there. <laughs> Dead and gone, somebody was just bringing that up. Two damage to target creature or return it. Like I've always told you all, if you ever are hurting for a, a color to not do what it's supposed to, always check out the time spiral block and get red bounce, right? Okay. Gosh, even a bolt here. What am I doing? I can just kill him. And I'm on this little life train, keep my elementalist alive, but I can always just go grab lightning bolt. Maybe be able to finish him off. We'll see what this is. Mold Drifter. Alrighty. Honestly, I think we um we just ardent back, hit breath weapon. Lose our two elementalists, hit for three, and then, I don't know. It's taking forever to push through this damage. That's why I like evasion so much. I hate when stuff's able to just keep blocking me all the time. Away we go. No brown scale, cancel that. Ah, that's such a good pull. You know, I could just put it on that Ardent right now. Swing for a bunch. Yeah, I do. I think we get the win this way. Now he lives through Breath Weapon. All right, I'll do that using all of these. I don't have enough, do I? Well, that's a bummer. I thought I had enough. Well, we'll just do it next turn. <laughs> oh, wrath weapon. Okay. Attack. At least with this one. Bloop. I don't know why I couldn't do basic math there. Apologies. Maybe I need some more coffee. We have eight damage on the stack. This person really likes split cards and doing things in two or halfway, right? Already we've seen a lot of the um, foretell cards and then he's playing like it seems like every card that's the sideways cards. I'm trying to remove the elementalist again. Okay, I think we might have a new player on our hands. No, no offense meant. I just, I'm just trying out Popper. It's always a very good reason to. If I wasn't streaming right now, I'd offer him up a link to Popperganda in a selfish way, but also maybe give him a few cards or something like that. So, if this person sees me later. Probably oblivious that they're on a stream right now. It is super fan, but that's that's what you're here for. Even our opponents sometimes will pull one off, right? Another reason I, I really like playing in 
tournament room, you see a lot of ideas starting. You can always jump into a league whenever you think you got the ideas, but eh, that's a bit of a headache, but we'll still be able to push through it. We're going to lose our elementalists. They're going to lose everybody. Watch, they got like one Hydro Blast. Just like, I see your breath weapon. Watch this. We will go to 50. Bolsa such a flexible card. I just love it. All right. Hey, look at this. We're up a minute. All right. So, yeah, they'll be able to kill our elementalists. They'll take three. Their bird will die. They have to block the elementalist. Unless they have some trick here. Feeling pretty good here. Cancel that. All right. A little breath weapon right now. Bloop. Attack. Must block. Interesting. Oh, they they have some removal here. That's a that's an interesting. They must have removal. Thank goodness for brown scale. We'll at least be able to get our creature back. Okay. That's a pretty good play. Use that removal when you can, right? And eh, I'll keep the gruel turf in our hand. Let's heal through this turn. I'm not going to be able to do nothing. Yeah, the game keeps getting longer and longer here. I'm having a problem putting this guy away. That's not good. Watch, they're able to come all the way back. I'm like, no! I think we can just deck them before they can do damage. We still have two Pulse of Morasses in our, in our deck. Or do we? Let me double check that. Yep. When it enters the battlefield, discover three. One woman trample. She's awfully proud of that. <laughs> two of them. Nine cards left. Now down. Now ten. Trample, trample, trample. What is happening here? Did I miss something? He is discovering for three. Oh, cool. Just keeps happening. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, see? I'm just glad we didn't run him over right away. Get to see some. Now, somebody might see this and be like, that's interesting, but this is a lot better if you use it over here, and that's that's how this kind of stuff can get discovered. It's pretty cool. All of a sudden, we don't have many turns left, do we? Brown scale, moldering cloak. But if we don't hit a creature here, let me bring him. I'll bring back the brown scale. Oh, but Scrad could have taken him down. Dang it! All right. I'll do this here, brown scale. I guess we get back Moldering Cloak next turn. Especially if the, oh, ah, shoot. I should have Faithless Looting there. I forgot that that got turned over. That was really beneficial. Well, if we draw a land, then we'll have even better effects for it, so. This way we got a sneaky win. If they, if they just swing and then don't keep a creature back, we can kill him with the cloak. Unlikely. Especially we've seen enough removal. It's not like our guy has a hexproof here. I think I've cast Pulse of Morassa more in this game than I ever have. I think I did it like, well, I'm sure we could figure it out if we do the math, right? Feels like about six or seven times. That's why I'm amazed I still have some in the list. <laughs> Trample. Have you been attacked by a dwarf today? I have. Okay. Are they slipping up here? Yeah. 
any creatures. We still have the um, faithless looting move. Okay, there's a creature. They might get there if uh, there's there's there are worlds where they get there. They're out of breath we weapon range, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a giant dwarf. The oxymoron list. All right, got an even 10 damage. We got about five turns. We don't need the cloak now. We'll say cancel. And we've lost our um, battlefield scrounger, so I don't feel like we can deck them. Let's go. Time to loot. Let's find some good stuff here. If, how many screds do we have left? And bolts. One, two. It's a pretty high probability we find one. I'll hit cancel for the first one. If this is a mountain, yep, yeah, okay, now we will do this. You see how that worked? Hit this card too. I just faithless looting into the win here. I'll throw this on here. And kill the birdie. If it survives, right? Bloop. Probably the best use of a stack that I've had this week. Cool. It's a fun one. Boy, that felt long. Because it was. What on earth are we playing against? We didn't see um, not all kinds of ways to attack that list, is there? We can probably have some graveyard hate headed our way. I'm, I'm just not sure. Thank you, Nim. All right. Well, we definitely don't need crop rotation. You know, it's never a dead card, though. I don't. I don't really mind seeing it. All of this stuff was really good. I think we need a. Uh, Eh, that feels overkill. Did we see any artifacts? I don't th think so. Oh, what to do, what to do. Well, I do want to bring in all of these, just in the weird chance that they end up mattering. I, th I think we'll lose all of our rotations. I'll skim on a land, too. Let's go. Yeah, to play to my outs with that little faithless looting stack, that was a... Had to deduce how many burn spells, which we definitely had enough. Ooh, this is a really good hand. I don't like seeing this now, but uh, I mean, we're going to be staring at it for the whole game, but I'll keep. We've got early removal, early draw, and a turn four beast. Of course, everything blocks it. I sure wish there was a way to um, get some really efficient, good um, evasion make it unblockable or something. I remember looking into it and then getting a little sidetracked. I never really gave it too much effort, but you just have to go into artifact country like that. I mean, unless you want to go like forest walk. I used to use that in Infect when Stompy was everywhere. I, I had a forest walk tech or a treetop racers. It's a really good card. One, it uh, gives one one and they only can be blocked by, um, by creatures uh, with flying. That might that might still be lacking in this list. Maybe I should be playing that. I don't know. Reckless impulse. Well, let's go. Did they got removal? Army encounters. Okay. All right. Well, I do believe we'll have to uh, play that barons. I'll have to play the wilds. Unless we just top deck a basic. Be able to play that hunt beast there. All right, wilds it is. Trip it now. Hmm. Look at that. Yeah, I could just scratch OT here. I'll save. Disturb burial. Yes, I've played that a few times. Talons, one one trample. Yeah. Trample's nice. I just don't like anything to block it. Our hexproof dude is 
at most usually a 6-6. Six, six. Not that hard to kill with multiples. But treetop racers, not many flyers are going to be able to deal with that. Unless you run into like some Battle Screech engine. All right, enough talking. Let's cycle. I guess we'll just go for evenness. We have enough green stuff here to promote this idea. Let's go. All right, here we are. Oh, that's good, interesting. I'm just going to get a creature out so we have one now. They got a counter finally? They do, look at this. Out of air. All right. They are just against using cards that we don't have to uh, zoom in on, right? Ooh, that's claustrophobic. Mm hmm. Ah, that's just a counter spell, but with a creature, it is a counter spell. That's pretty cool. Zoop. Discover three. Woo! Wonder if they had that last game, or if they just they use counter spells in their sideboard only. That's weird. Alrighty, we know what we're doing here. It's probably that ginormous eagle showing up. Another brown scale. I'm going to resolve here. Oh, come on. Let us get something. Hmm. All right, we'll kill this. Boop. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Counter spell four, so it doesn't hit off the enchanted cascade. Nice call. Okay. I don't know why I'm not doing this. Let's let this person go crazy. Any crafty names other than RG Tempo to call this for the YouTube video? Anybody got some ideas? I should have wrote down. Somebody earlier had a pretty neat play on words. It was Pulse. Oh, what was it? Ardent Pulse Combo. <laughs> that's technically what it is. Gruel Grind. Yeah, that, that's fitting, isn't it? I'd much rather have that in my yard. Wipe the board here. I think I do. We'll let we'll let the man die. Let's let's breath weapon here. Zoop. Bye bye everybody. Let's loot. Find some land. Oh my goodness. All right. We'll throw we'll throw out two brown scales. They'll be back. Can't believe we didn't hit a land there. That's crazy here. Note to self: one ardent left. <laughs> The gruel grind. What a strange avatar. Here's another one. Well, that's the. We've seen three sculptors show up. Keep that scred for the big bird. Keep the lightning bolt for their head. Just give me a basic here, please. Armorasa, even. Cancel. And there's the third of that. All right, let's find some land, please. No. All right. Well, we'll try it again. Please. There we go. Bloop. And I guess we'll shoot this down so it doesn't get out of control. Yeah, we probably should have just taken two. That was silly. We're going to turn on our scrounger. Getting back whole lots of stuff. Oh, strange. Breath weapon revealed, and they still do that. Hmm. Maybe they have another counter? I don't know why they go at this angle. Well, that makes a little more sense.
Remember that scred move? <laughs> Gonna make me pay for it now. Might have to breath weapon combo to kill the, uh, yeah, definitely now that'll be the line. So yeah, we'll just breath weapon bolt if nothing improves here. Cost us another turn of just doing nothing here, but whatever. Yield! Cancel. Balsamarasa, thank you for showing up. But right now, yeah, it doesn't, make, it doesn't matter. Do this, this. Maybe I should have looked up there. That was a, I forgot this was even here. <laughs> should have breath weapon from there. That was really bad. I am getting tired just of playing this list. This, this game just feels like I've been playing for three days. I'm not sure, Nimchimsky. I am misplaying the hell out of this turn. That is a pretty neat little combo. So this is another list to just shelve and like wait till you know there's other options because they might be onto something. Cancel. Alrighty. Hmm. You've waited all year for it, folks. We'll do this. Maybe they've got some. Six is a lot more than three. I just wish you could keep doing it. I hate when you activate it and then they shoot it. You're like, ah, you still get cards, but it's like, darn it. Dwarven mine. A lot of firsts. I think that's the first time we've played the scrounger. <laughs> and we will activate it at instant speed, bringing back Bolt. Let's see. Breath weapon and an impulse. Sure. Bloop. It lives. Oh, that's one pissed off centaur. Looks more w wise than it does like a, a brawler, like at a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, pretty cool idea. You almost want to play Tron with those mana costs though, right? That, that might be the shell that it works better in. Really lean heavily on blue, red, colored sources, but then I have the Tron engine there. I'm going to say cancel. Said cancel. All right. I don't mind seeing that right now. Throw this out. Grab a forest. Do we have much, uh, don't really have many choices, do we here? I guess I'll, I'll grab a brown scale the old, the old way, and I can just, um, pitch them to a uh, faithless looting next turn. Attack here. I just wanted to get our life in the twenties again here. Okay. This warrants another removal spell that we can keep our centaur alive with. We're we getting back. Uh, I already have one Marasa in hand, so I could throw Marasa back and some a scred. I need. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose on time. Wouldn't that be funny? You're right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose on time. Look at that. Good call. They're at twenty. We're not. We're not hitting them often enough here. They just keep putting people in front of us. That scrounger's never going to get home. All right. Boy, we really need a, our elementalist or something. We exiled them. That could have been a misplay. Probably was. I love tap out. Let's see what happens. Woo! That's a lot of damage. Maybe they'll just kill us natural. All right.
I um, think I'm just going to let this go. I can stay alive plenty. Yeah, this is the discard turn. Cancel. Draw. I don't mind seeing that. Let's loot first. Throw out our brown scales here. Cancel. Cancel. Or not. Uh, maybe just one brown scale. This, I guess. <laughs> Bring this back. Throw this up. Attack. Don't block. Pulse of Marasa. Let me keep that breath weapon in there. Trying to keep kind of a, a toolbox if we if we find you know what. Hunt beast would be pretty good. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose some time. Whatever. Having a good time with y'all. If you're watching this on YouTube later, please like and subscribe and tell a friend. See the guy with crazy hair or bald? One of three visages will show up. We are getting outdrawn big time here. We don't have to fear. I don't know when they're going to learn this lesson. Bring back Renz. Renz. Oh, scrub. That's quite a bit of damage. Do this now. Let's grab the hunt piece. That's what I meant to do. Yeah, well, not only is it cool to get back Ren's resolve effects, I mean, we're going to run out of time, but when you think about how much deck thinning we've done, they just they pay off so hard. All right, we've got a bolt. This is actually a pretty good draw. Bolt that. We'll play our dude here. Bloop. Glad that didn't get the... Uh, I could have done that better. Attack here for six. Nothing to sneeze at, right? Unless they got a removal spell right now. I'll do this, this, and breath weapon, I guess. Yeah, I should have done my mana a whole lot different so I could have played a brown scale there. Start getting them on the ground here. Got to be careful. We can only activate our scrounger one more time. Another reason to maybe... Maybe get back a uh, brown scale and play, play two brown scales out. I'm not sure. Yep, there goes that plan. We really need to top deck something good. Yep, threshold is right on the edge. I, I, I'm kind of pulling for our opponent. I want him to win. That's a bad place to be in a strategy game, right? They've got us on time, that's for sure. Cancel. All right, there's another Hunt Beast. That's pretty cool. I'll play these all out. I just need to draw a Breath Weapon. That would be so epic if I drew one. That would be funny if they counter this. Okay. Three, four. I'll play the real good one. Brown Scale. Oh, are we dead next turn? That's uh, 10 in the air. Look at this. Opponent showing up. I'll, I'll lose a Threshold here if they let us through. I don't see many other ways of... I'm still trying to win. Are they going to double block? They are. Okay, we'll do the thing. They might have a removal here. Yep. Now I want to do this. I guess we'll get back... Uh, brown scale, brown scale, brown scale. <laughs> that little bit of life's not going to do much. Keep our dude alive here. Well, they got they've got some answers, eh? 
it dies anyway, but we kill their things here. They could have just killed us if they were looking at the board a little bit better, right? Isn't that, yeah, it does. They, they should have just shot me because we're going to be at one life here, but maybe they've got, they got the answer here. Yeah, brown scale is supposed to fill up the yard. It's been playing a little clunky, this matchup. I think we're dead. How cool is this? And we have to play another game. <laughs> so our opponent's just going to win on time. Glad we stuck this one out. That a, a Terry or a tall what is it called? A Tolly's favor. Be neat if you played it with something that got like triggers for being like activated, like a prowess style thing. We're at one. I saw this one coming. Or two. All right. I got another fire ice for our face. Awesome. They do. Woo. All right. We got a few minutes. Let's see what we can do. Ah, here we go. Where were you guys? I didn't see a single scattershot archer that entire game. <laughs> yep. Bloop. Here we go. Keep. There's no way we're winning this. I, I hate playing under stress like this. I just... I'll just go at my own speed instead of get my blood pressure all up. Bloop. Actually, I just got my blood pressure testing uh, all time like great numbers. So, boom, boom. Can we find land, please? There we go. Thank you for listening, Deck. All right. I guess we just have to power out a brown scale and. Hopefully we can attack 10 times. <laughs> Highly doubt it. Probably keep that bolt for the face. Boink. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm kind of glad we did that. Moldavine Cloak right now would be really optimal. Moldavine Cloak. We could even bolt Cloak. Moldervine cloak off the top. Come on, Moldervine. Let's go. All right. I said Moldervine. Let's go. There it is. Woo. Let's get rid of a... Uh, this guy, this guy, I guess. I'm getting flustered for time here. Moldervine, yo, what's up? Yeah, baby. Quick clock now. Five, six is a thing. I know F6 is a thing. I don't even have it on my keyboard because of it just cost me too many games. When I know it's there, I, I can't play that. I can't play around it. Pulse here. Play a mountain. Attack. What is this new devilry? Ooh, tapping it. Well, that blows. Oh, breath weapon the way this game's going right now. Attack here. We'll bolt elementalist. Bolt elementalist. Bolt. Okay. Usually these are three threes, so this might not make a big difference. Bolt. Attack for win. Yay! <laughs> 33 seconds left. All right. I'm glad I stuck it out. Good times. Woo woo. I know. I can get there, right? That's why I've, I've often considered running even a third moldering cloak and, you know, maybe cutting on one brown scale. But um, these creatures with all their big backsides will um, 
you know, all three, three, the only one that suffers is this one. But like I said, we've got plenty of ways to get stuff back and keep coming back and such. So uh, I wish I wish that game could have gone a little differently where we could see, like, pull off a Ren's Resolve into just all fuel because it does happen. But it's a nice, uh, nice little benefit there. So, oh, yeah, this is that time when we say... All right. Only problem with that is I got to make sure I'm back on camera. Oh my god, my hair looks ridiculous. What would I change? What would I change? I definitely want another tranquility on the sideboard. I think you probably get rid of a weather the storm or even a scatter shot. Right now, I think I'm going to do it like this, and one of on the sideboard here. Did it go in there? Where did it go? It says 15. Where on earth did this go? Ah, it went way over here. Oh, the Fangren's hiding over there too. Sorry, I didn't include that in my thing there. I just try to keep the show nice and uh, even keel for you so you can see all the, all of the good stuff. But, yeah, if you like really grindy, you know, matchups and finding neat little lines of play to, to fight stuff through, we would really, really, really need to find some a very efficient way of whether it's an enchantment or something that keeps being able to come back like a uh, Moldervine cloak for something that grants it a little bit of evasion, but a little better than expected um, on the day. But, yeah, we ran into some Rogue, too, so there's that there. So, anyway... Taking this itchy thing off. Ah, oh, I'm going to be itching my head all day. We'll see you same time next week uh, for the birthday show. Until then, uh, please like, subscribe, and do all those good things. I think we'll go out with, oh, yeah, might as well go for the support. Thanks, everybody.